last episode with Jerk Pan FC, CM made his long-awaited return. Fans were growing restless, thinking about when their manager, of all things, would return to the club that he was part owner of. But it happened. He returned. And still their form stays inconsistent. But the hope is there to push for a playoff spot in order to get promoted. Back-to-back -back seasons promoted would be quite the achievement. But right now it's looking like it's going to be a tough task for CM and his team. In this episode he looks to bring in a few more players. Reinforcements to see if they can finally achieve. What should have happened about 10 gazillion million, 100,000, 100 million, 100 gabillion years ago. Anyway, <laughs> Japan FC International League. The push for promotion continues. Currently ninth place in the Vanarama. With just about three months to go in the season. A lot of games to be played. Let's see what happens. Yes, people. Hope everybody's do. You know what? These glasses do not glare. They, they, they don't glare, do they? Perfect. Perfect stuff. Wait, I'm still. Hold up. Perfect. <laughs> <clears> oh <throat> no, I had, a, I had a bit of a cold. Shout out to Paxton. Hope you're doing well. Your day's been blessed. Appreciate you coming by each and every time. Hope everyone's doing well. Whether you're watching this live, whether you're watching this on the VOD afterwards, or even on YouTube, big up yourself. Japan FC is back for another week. Ladies and gentlemen, Paxton asking, will CM get sacked today? That's what people want to know. I'm not getting sacked from Japan FC. I've had my critics. I'm not afraid to say that. I've, my, I've had my critics. But we achieved promotion in the first season. Thanks to the help of many people. Second season, I'm not sure that's going to happen. But it looks like at least we will be an established team in the Vanarama National League. If CN doesn't get a playoff spot, he needs to take off the suits. Let's say that. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Pressure from... If, if, if I don't get a playoff spot, he needs to take off... All right, cool. That's fine. That's fine. Remember you said that, Paxton. Remember you said that. So if I don't get a playoff spot, I need to I need to get back in the lab, take off the fancy suits, all of this good stuff, and, and do my job. That's fine with me. That is fine with me. So let's see if I can do it, man. I mean, next up we got Altrincham. Shout out to Super Nick. Altrincham. Then we got Barrow, Haven. And Gateshead. So a lot of games to be played. Home and away. To end this season. And it ain't even near. So let's see what I've gone. Hope everybody's doing well today man. And we've got a match straight away. Altrincham. I've got to make sure I pick my team. I've got a few guys that I've, I've been looking at. In terms of signing. Getting a backup keeper. A midfielder. Uh, a striker on loan as well. Man like Henry Timmy Davis. So, so we'll see. I'm looking to bring in a few players in some spots. I don't know if I'll be able to bring in much more because the wage budget limited, transfer budget limited. So I've kind of got to wait until next season. I think there will be some outgoings during the summer. So I, I just got to hope that I don't get a lot of injuries, suspensions. Eh, I've been getting suspensions here and there throughout the whole season. It just seems to continue happening. But... Hopefully, injury-wise, we don't get dealt a, a massive blow. So, let's see. Jack Evans, he's suspended for this game. So, I will bring in... I'll bring in Sam... Sam Packham. Yeah, I'll bring in Sam Packham for this one. Uh, Jack Evans can go. We'll bring Cameron Tott onto the bench. Lee Harkin, he can sit out for this one. A few other guys who are... You still need fitness test settings. Shout out to Rusty in the car. Hope you're doing well. Your day's been blessed. Appreciate you coming by each and every time. It's been a minute. Hope you're having a wonderful week so far. Wonderful day. Sign Lee Catamore. 
What is Lee Catamo doing in the ends these days, man? I think I actually picked my team before, so I should be all right. I should be all right. Dan Kemp made his debut, gaining some sharpness. I'm going to put him in the opposite side, bring in Ruben Soares Jr. That was one of the reinforcements I brought in Dan Kemp. So let's see what he can do going forward for Japan FC. I mean, it... it let me let me just let me just tie this in real quick, fam. So he's a gaffer, yeah. I'm as a manager in the ends now. Mendel's brought under 18's manager. Hey, you, you 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 wanna you wanna come out of retirement real quick, big man? Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> Alright, cool. Submit my team. Um, squad number will have to be given to one guy. So that's Declan Ryan. I'll get. Let me let me give him a a nice little. I'll give you a 60, 65, 64. I'll give you a 64, man. Hey, man's the, man's the Middlesbrough under 18's manager. Let's see what's good. All right. Never. Back in the Vanarama National League. It's all we got. It's all we got for the rest of this season. Ultringham versus Japan FC. Phil Parkinson selects. Number 13, Craig Ross. Number 2, Roman Quinty. Number 4, the captain, Terence Marks. Number 6, Lewis Baines. Number 15, Jacob Slater. Number 8, Josh Lundstrom. Number 7, Josh Carey. Number 33, Igla Kaja. Number 10, Elliot Osborne. Number 24, David Amu. And number 9, Stephen Payne. And now Jerk Pan FC's lineup, CM22 selects. Shout out to Darts, hope you do more pit days, been blessed, appreciate you coming by each and every time, it's been a minute, it's been a minute for real man, I'm doing well, I'm cool, back on the streaming and stuff like that, I hope you're having a wonderful week so far, what have you been up to? Same with everybody in the chat as well, what have you been up to this week? CM22 selects for Jerk Pan FC, number one, Harrison Mel. Number 16, George Fowler, number 14, Ethan Patterson, number 13, Ben Wells, number 19, Guscott Morris, number two, Sam Packham, number five, the captain for today, Pablo Martinez, who will not be taking penalties again for the club, number 10, Ewan Pollock, number 22, Dan Kemp, number nine, Ruben Soares Jr., and number 18, Alfie Egan, the referee for today, Peter Gimmons. In time, man, we miss the street, I got exams, oi, I love to, hey, listen, Love to hear the focus, man. Best of luck on the exams. Hope they're going well so far. You know what I mean? Just looking. And it's a it's a period that's gonna fly by. So hope you damn what what, what is this pitch? Hope you've been enjoying the experience. You know what I mean? Don't overwork yourself. Get those spots in for breaks and, and, and meditation and, and all of that stuff. Find time to do things you enjoy as well, you know, playing sports interacting with your friends playing games whatever it is just you know what i mean good luck and do your thing i fucking you looking bitch i'm thinking what the hell is this all right Altrincham, i don't know what's going on with your pitch right now but it's not nice it's not nice they got a corner though gotcha. No way we gave away a pen. So it's raining. Why is the pitch like pain? Good goal. I can hardly see what's going on. Is it, is this, has it been snowing? It's raining right now. Oh, shit. <laughs> um, hey, hey. Tranquilo. Wait, they got a corner again. No, no, no. Chill out, chill out, chill out, chill out. Whips it in. All right, cool. And move back to Kasha. Inside the ball. What's going on now? The worst possible start for Jerk Pan FC. Here's Martinez. Kemp into Pollock. Offside. Yeah. What is this, fam? Fucking ill discipline. What the hell is going on today? Jerk Pan has sleep so far. 
2-0 after 20 minutes. I can't believe it, Paxton. I cannot believe it. This has been absolutely horrible. We need at least one goal back before halftime, please. Something. Anything. Doesn't look like we're going to get it. Been absolutely dead. I need to smoke these guys in it. Are you mad? You know what? You might have been. What do you mean? What do you mean you're anxious? Seem to lose confidence. You might have been playing dead. <sighs> these guys stink, man. And I'm going to continue saying it. I'm not happy with you. I'm not happy with you. See if the tactics 101. Nah, man. They need a shout in that. Who do you think you are? Stop. Here's Lundstrom. Interception by Wells. Jerk Pan FC. They need a massive comeback. If they're able to get back in this game, nice ball by Pollock into Scott Morris, back in the box, headed away, Packham into Egan now, Martinez, long range over the bar. I feel like I need to make a sub, bro. Pollock, you can come off. Martinez, Cameron Tut, Jeez, Ben Moore, Ben Tricker. I feel like I should bring in um, Rodinson, Alfie Egan. Sam Packham, Alfie Egan. Let me bring in Rodinson, man. I need that attacking extra. Just trying to enjoy it. Can't wait to leave school. Hey, man, I hear you, Darts, man. I hear you. School's a good time for real, man. It's a, it's a good time. Make sure to make the most of it as well. Because that time in school, it flies by. And you never know what you miss until, until it's gone, or until that time is passed. Or so always remember to make the most of the situation. I, I don't think we're getting back in the game, ladies and gents. This has been a, a calamitous display. From the start, here's Moshe Shetele, a substitute. Why? I don't even know if you guys can actually see what's going on. It's, it's crazy. This pitch is horrific. I hope it's not going to be like that, otherwise I'm just going to have to restart the game completely because it is not looking good. Yeah, we lost. Wow. I'm not happy with your performance out there, man. CM lost count of this stream. And we needed to, t we like, where are they? They're they we need to take advantage of these games, man. If we want to get into the playoffs, we need to take advantage of these games. It's non-negotiable. Non-negotiable. Oh, but we need to get back to winning ways. Let's see what people are saying now. Um, yeah, Ruben Soares Jr. He might need a rest then. Uh, you want to rest? All right, cool. What did, what did the manager say? Um, after referee, a refereeing performance that we all refereeing. Ugh, I don't care. The referees stink anyway. Let's see. Players of the week. It's not going to be a, a Japan player. Timmy Davis set to move to Japan FC on loan. Welcome to the club, you lad. You're on loan until the end of the season. You could have a massive contribution coming in from Asna. Let's see what he can do. Another goal for it up front. Especially when guys like Mushesha Tere and, and Pollock need a little sitting. He will come in handy, no doubt. I might even start him next game and see what he's on against Barrow. Because we're going to need a, a clinical guy up top. Against one of our rivals, at least positional rivals. Let's see, man. It's disappointing to start the episode with a loss. But hopefully we can turn it around and get that W. In the end of the day. Let's see. 
But yeah, Henry Timmy Davis, he's here. Pleased to be here. Come on. Potentially League One standard. So we're getting a guy who should raise the ceiling of this team. Let me ask Tricker to, to welcome him to the club. Make him feel comfortable. All of that good stuff. All right, all right. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Because I am I'm, I'm seeing guys underperforming during training. It's my job to set these guys in line. So, Mr. Mr. Gus, what are you doing, big man? Pattern up. Cameron Tut. Under six. Is, is, under six is not good enough, Brev. Under six is not good enough. So, I'm expecting better from you guys. I'm not expecting to be seeing the same names. We warn you as well. I don't expect to be seeing the same names here again. I'm loving that guys are getting high scores though. That means you're committed to the cause. And if you're committed to the cause, you're going to reap the rewards of your hard work. All right, tactics. Bringing in my guy, Timmy. He's going to start. Uh, let's see. Boom. Ashby, he is back. That is good for us. Uh, Packham can go. Maybe, maybe here. Yeah. Sam Packham can go. I'm gonna. I might start him. We'll see. We will see. I might start him. I'm um, got Scott Morris. Uh, you. So you and Pollock. Declan Ryan. I don't even need a backup keeper right now. So I, I'll make sure I keep these guys. I'll do a simple. He can come back into the lineup as well. Josh Ashby should not be there. So I'll swap that position. He's our attacking midfielder. Jack Evans. Let's see if I can slap him back there. Craig Tanner, to be honest. Uh, nah. I'll save him. And that'll be potentially the lineup for now. I might bring out Alfie Egan. But there's no point. If he gets a yellow, it is where it is, right? It is what it is. Hey, Harrison folks, welcome to the club. So now we got our backup keeper. <laughs> and I just said we don't even need it. Nah, we'll, we'll, we'll keep the keeper on the bench just in case. So big up, lad. And I got him to come through. You and Pollock. Uh, and he is happy that you strengthen first team squad in goal. Hey, I'm happy with that. Harrison Mill doesn't see himself. Oh, lad, you know what? Yo, 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 listen, uh, I appreciate your cousin, but I want you to earn that playing time. It will make us stronger as a team. I want to play as a certain kind of... Uneasy. This guy, man, these guys are so dead, you know. Like, imagine a player comes into the club and you're scared. You should be embracing the competition. Stop being a neek and get on your game, big man. Let me just slap him on the bench to set pace. Uh, Paxton saying, did you see that Bray was temporarily removed from the SmackDown roster because of injury? Something ain't... I did not see that, Paxton. I did not... Oh, dear. Because uh, Bray Wyatt wasn't drafted, was he? So what happens to Bray Wyatt um, when he... Re well, if he returns... I don't, I don't know what's going on right now. Obviously, we've kind of heard the news of him uh, being injured. So that's the kind of thing where I've, I've, I've seen. I'm like, okay, he's injured. And then we've been hearing some good news in regards to him making his way back. So there's a hope at least that he'll be good. But I don't know. I don't know. Heading into this fixture against Barrow. It's going to be an interesting game. What I might do is go balanced. If anything, just go balanced. But we'll get there. Yeah, I might go balanced for this game. Just for this one. These guys. So Ethan Patterson. He's a little unfit. So I might slap him Ben Tricker. Sam Packham as well. So I'll slap him out for Gus. Scott Mollies. Um. Yeah, we might need a, a versatile guy because we only got Tut in there. 
So I'll bring in Packham just in case, Pablo Martinez. Um, yeah, Ruben Swords Jr., I promised him a break. So I'll take him out of there as well. Maybe I'll bring in... Ah, see, this is the jarring thing about only having five subs. It hurts, it hurts. It hurts. All right, Packham can play in that position. So maybe I'll just bring in Martinez for Packham because he's not fully fit. And I'll leave it there. I will leave it there. Got to select some shirt numbers. So, Mr. Henry, I'll give you 21. Harrison Folks, someone who's got number two already. So, I will give you... I will give you... I'll give you number 39. How about that? Number 39. Bray Wyatt is not listed internally on the WWE roster in any way, PW Insider. That is concerning. <laughs> that is concerning. For real. Even if you're injured, you should be listed internally, right? I don't know, man. Unless, it, uh, unless it's an error. It's not looking good, bro. But for now, Jerk Pan FC away from home against Barrow AFC in the Vanarama National League. Pete Wilde selects for Barrow. Number one, Paul Farman. Number five, Harry Brockbank. Number 16, the captain, Sam Foley. Number four, Joe Grayson. Number three, Patrick Bro. Number 17, Ryan Tonicliffe. Number 13, Tom White. Number 35, Jordan Stevens. Number 11, Max Robson. Number 21, Ronnie McGrath. And number 10, Josh Gordon. And now for Jerk Pan FC, CM22 selects. Number one, Harrison Mell. Number 16, George Fowler. Number four, Ben Tricker. Number three, the captain for today, Jack Evans. Number 19, Gus Scott Morris. Number 18, Alfie Egan. Number six, Lewis Simpa. Number 21, Henry Timmy Davis making his debut for today. Number 12, Joel Roninson. Number 22, Dan Kemp. And number eight, Josh Ashby. Referee for today, Gareth Rhodes. I see. Um, uh, I know we're the underdogs here, but go on out there and give the fans a performance to cheer. Come on. That's what I'm talking about. Go out there, give the performance to cheer. Be better. Let's go, Jerk Pan FC. Let's go. Get back to winning ways. We've got 25 set cards in the cup. Say no more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Here's one over the ball. We will hear by Friday from the right people about the KSI fight and what the result will be. Say no more, Paxton. Here's Ashby. Playing it into Fowler, now Simper in the midfield. Fowler again. Plays it over the top, not a great ball. Barrow will, Barrow will deal with it easily. Shout out to Rosetti, hope you're doing well. Your day's been blessed, appreciate you coming by every time. Saying there's new news about Jerk Pan FC. It will get read out after this game. Don't you worry about that. And here's Timmy Davis. A chance for him. Hope you're having a wonderful day, Rizzelli. Feel like you can attack these guys. We haven't been as aggressive. Which you can understand away from home. But you want to break that duck because you got convincingly beaten in the last game. Let's see what we can do. Good distribution, Harrison. Good distribution, please. Good enough. Fowler playing it long, headed away for now. Now Robson Tonicliffe, poor challenge there by Evans. Here's Kemp, Tricker into Evans, poor touch. We're just giving the ball away. Are you playing 4 2 3 1? So this is a formation we're playing with, kind of, kind of. You could call it a 4 3 3, maybe 4 2, depending. 
the pendant. Here's Ashby. Egan. Into Rollinson. Oh yeah, Rizzetti. How was the process? Uh, the voting process? The election is still going over there. Hopefully things get sorted out soon. Facts. Here's Egan. Into Rollinson. Headed down to me. One nil before half time. Big goal, Henry. And what a finish. Election heads to run off. So. Brev, I, my sound is playing with me right now, man. My sound is actually playing with me. It's, uh, nah, it's, it's not nice, man. My sounds are playing with me. Because it, it was working before I went on stream. I've got to change it now, man. I'm heated now. I'm, I'm heated. Japan FC. Japan FC. Shout out to Manj. Hope you're doing well. Your day's been blessed. Appreciate you coming by each every time. <laughs> hey, you guys. I'm, I'm, I might look for one. Well, I'm going to look for one either tomorrow, yeah. But if you, any of you guys know like you know those online websites because the one i'm using right now it's um trigger fire why well, it just it, it just seems way too unreliable so it seems like i'm i'm gonna have to change that for real seems like i'm gonna have to change it Let me hit that again, man. I can't even claim it again, bro. It's not looking good. It's not looking good, bro. Uh, and I don't even have it on my. I'm gonna set you with a refund, man. man. But yeah, I gotta fix my trigger fire. Let me let me make sure it's working anyway. It's not working, bro. Man, Twitch has anti um, ad blockers involved. Yeah, it seems like that, you know. That may be the case. Refresh browser, see when become active. This thing out is moving mad. I don't know why it's not working. Let me put something out, man. Let's redeem some commands today. Not working. I'll put a light notification, man. Right? Alright, sorry about that ladies and gents. Come on lads. Yeah, I heard about that um YouTuber they're they're testing it with quite a few people in regards to uh, having like an anti-ad blocking system. So before you know it man, it's time to it's time to cop that YouTube premium. Or deal with the ads. Really? Dan Kemp, how's everybody's hey man, how's your day been so far today? Let me see, because I even got guys I can really sap on the wing, you know? Ah. So let me see, Dan Kemp. No need for... Hey, I might, I might as well use Lee Pass, you know, because Lee Pass... Hey, hey, that's... I might as well use it on my computer, because it will it, it, work better than, than the BBC uh, online player, because I haven't got a TV in front of me, you see. Yeah, man, training right now as we speak. Say no more. 
what I would say on mobile is use revants for free. Hey, if you know, you know them. Shout shout out to to Faxton, fam. He knows. He knows. He knows. Yeah, Timmy's a one. Yeah, I want to bring off Dan Kemp. Let me bring on Gerard Mushesha Teddy. Time to get back to game time. Um, I'll take off Gus just to save him from that potential red card that we don't need right now. Let me encourage the guys because I want to go for that second goal. We'll see though. I want to be in a good position. We were able to get that one before half time. Let's see how long we can stretch it. 70. Oh my God, I keep on pressing the wrong thing. Make sub. I'm going to make my final sub here. Alfie Egan, we can bring him off. Pablo Martinez. And then what I'm going to do now, get to about 80 minutes, nothing's happened, nothing's happened. I bet. It's time to shut down shop, bro. It's time to shut down shop. What? Fam, why is my keep on? Why is my keeper on the pitch? Why is my keeper on the pitch? Playing as a fullback. And he has half a star. Wait, no, no, that's Josh Ashby. He has half a star playing as a wingback. Did I sub on my keeper? I subbed on the wrong guy, bro. Subbed on the wrong guy. So I'm playing my keeper. <laughs> I'm playing one of my keepers at right wing back. He has half a star though. So maybe, like, like maybe, right? And I've got not that. Like, they're not even going to let me change that. It's peak. We're going to have to do, we're going to have to deal with it. Come on. Hey, listen, Harrison, I know it's a tough task. You didn't expect to be playing right wing back today. You've been a goalkeeper your whole life. Hey, keep on the pitch, he's at the hill. Here's Gerald Mushesha Tene. Get in! Man like Gerald Mushesha Tene finishes the game. The Warriors over. Japan FC 2, Barrow nil. Gerald off the bench with a big goal and a big W. Japan get back to winning ways. Um, uh, did you see who won the... Yeah, I saw the Battle Royale still. I, I saw the Battle Royale. I'm not gonna lie. I saw it. Shout out to Paxton. CM Management in the stream. 1-1. One, one, drew 0, lost 1. Great so far. C. Say no more. Well done, lads. But yeah, I saw the, the Battle Royale. Gunter came back, you know what I mean? The Heng General! Gunta! And then, yeah, they gave the introduction to the Battle Royale. Everybody there, they had uh, Riddle, Apollo Cruz was back. Um, let me see. Uh, Bronson Reed had a good showing in it. They had uh, Mustafa. They had Ricochet. Maximum Male Models. Alpha Academy. A few of the free agents. Baron Corbin. Um, the guy that was called up from NXT, Von Wagner. Yeah, they had quite a few people still. They had um other guy. I keep on forgetting his name was called up from uh from NXT as well. I remember him, the Irish guy. But yeah. I saw it. I'ma watch the rest of Raw though. I'ma watch the rest of it. Cause I had to go out and do some gardening and all that stuff. There! Gardener C is back! Man Source is called about Royale winner. Man said, acknowledge me. Hey, listen, we yeah, yeah, right now, yeah, uh, yeah, it was JD McDonough. It was JD McDonough. Zion Quinn was there as well. Yeah, man, JD McDonough. That's a guy. So we're up to eighth now. They've got, like, Dork can have a game in hand on us. So do Barrow. <laughs> They've only played 29, which is why we need to continue winning. We're only two points behind Newport, which is the good thing. The bad thing is, teams behind us, games in hand. So let's see. Hey, I was going to say, man, fam, that those sources, they've been a bit up and down recently. I can't, like, they've been a bit up and down. You know what I mean? Full acknowledgement. We need at least a 85% a success rate. You know what I mean? What are you saying, Paxton? 
for the, for the WWE sources. Well, what's the rest of threshold? So we're going up against Haven't now. That again, it should be a win, but you never know these days. Looking at their recent form, three losses, a draw, and a win. So we need to look out for these guys, man. 75% minimum same packs. Okay, so 75% minimum success rate. That's what we're going for. Man sources needs to be above 70%. Hey, Paxton, Paxton coming with the 75%. So let's say 75%. That is the 22 threshold for legitimacy. By the way, man, just, just, a, just to give you a, a, a light little notice, if you want to apply yourself a role in the Discord, you know, you can apply yourself that journalist role, you know what I mean, as a, rec as a reporter, man sources reporter. You can go into the Rose channel, slap that journalist role right at the very end. Nah, 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 75%, man. No, no, 72.5, no 70. 75% minimum. Do we have a deal? Do we have a deal? All right, let's go. So the guys have a few days break. We can get a couple sessions of training in part-time club settings when you have so much games bunched in between each other it's hard sometimes it's hard man like timmy davis scoring on his debut in the words of pep guardiola we will be there say no more that's what we love to hear that is what we love to hear um let's see man like packham Robinson, they're getting that that partnership, which is what we love. A little tired. So why has he got the... I don't know why. He should be all right. For some reason, guys got the... I don't know. NBA rig like the World Cup rip with Lakers winning the thing. Yeah, I, I don't know, man. It's interesting. I'm looking forward to game one. Of the Western Conference Finals tonight between the Lakers and the Denver Nuggets. Be sure to join us over on CM22 on YouTube and Pros Only Sports. Co-streaming the thing will be live at 1 a.m. Because we're going to be reacting to the NBA Draft Lottery first. What the Draft Lottery is, is basically the teams, well, the work with draft picks or who are eligible due to being having poor positioning or via trade, receiving a, a draft pick, for example, those teams are, are are revealed from like all of the lottery positions, basically. One to 15, who will get each draft pick? That's basically what it is. LeBron drafted to NXT 2.0, you know. We will be there. Shout out to Manch as well. Let's see, Jack Turner. I'm not really feeling it. Connor Lourdes, we've already put in Saturn for him. So we'll see. We don't need another goalkeeper. We definitely don't need another goalkeeper. So we'll leave it there. NBA from Wednesday to Saturday. A lot of basketball to enjoy for those that... Enjoy. Yeah, it's true, Paxton. A lot of NBA basketball to enjoy. And then, and then as it gets to the final, it slows down even more. You know, watching Inter AC, nah, but I, I could put it on in the background, but because I have a dual monitor, eh. So what I'll do is, I'll I'll put it on, and if you guys tell me there's been a goal scored, I'll just have a quick look at it. But that's about it. When I when I'm here, I'm devoted to the stream. I'm devoted to be uh, I'm devoted to the stream. I'm devoted to FM, and that's about it. Oh, thank you for reminding me, Rosetti. Time to read the news. Time to read the Japan news. Okay, <clears throat> coming in from Rosetti. Something to remember. Shout out to Paxton, by the way. Shout out, shout out to Paxton. Coming in from Rosetti. City Football Group acquires Japan FC following Coach CM22 ENT's triumph and promotion. In a major development in the football world, City Football Group CFG has officially acquired Japan FC. 
capitalizing on the team's recent success under the guidance of renowned coach CM22 ENT. The strategic move comes after Japan FC's impressive promotion to the next league, solidifying their position as a rising force in the sport. Under the leadership of coach CM, Japan FC showcased exceptional talent and determination, culminating in their triumphant promotion to the higher league. The team's impressive performance caught the attention of CFG, an internationally renowned football organization with a global portfolio of clubs. CFG's acquisition of Japan FC marks a significant milestone for both parties. The renowned football group is known for its expertise in club development and global football operations. By bringing Japan FC under their umbrella, CFG aims to enhance the club's resources, infrastructure and professional network, providing a solid foundation for their continued growth and success. The partnership between Japan FC and CFG is poised, poised to offer exciting prospects for the team and its fans alike. With CFG's vast resources, international reach and commitment to developing young talent, Japan FC is poised to further elevate their performance and competitiveness. The reason why I'm laughing is because I'm looking at the source. <laughs> The City Football Group's acquisition of Japan FC reflects their ongoing commitment to expanding their influence and creating <laughs> synergistic relationships with the football community. The collaboration between these two entities sets the stage for an exhilarating new chapter in the club's history, filled with promising opportunities and a shared vision for continued success. Source, Piers Morgan. Shout out to Rizzelli, man. Hey, it looks like there was a battle royale. Shout out to Match for winning the battle royale. Why, why? See, hey, CM Hog reporting the news, eh? Hey, shout out to Rizzelli. Um, you know, I was taking that story. I was taking that story so seriously. And then I looked down for one second and saw the source of Piers Morgan. Fam, it's crazy. It's crazy. I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. <laughs> but say Lakers gonna finish the story unlike Cody Rhodes. Hey, that's a low blow. That right there is a low blow, man. <laughs> Bruh, look at this dude. Oh, it's working. <laughs> Wait till you see the... <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Top of his head. <laughs> Look at his lips. I'm I'm definitely changing trigger fire because that thing is so inconsistent and it has been for a while. I'm not gonna lie. If I go on the website right now, trigger fire, yeah. Uh let me see. And it's so good as well. Like, well, it's just simple, isn't it? i got to find an alternative now, so so we'll see. Trigger fire, trigger fire, trigger fire. CM Ronaldo going to be doing an interview with Piers Morgan. Bam, I, I, listen, it is what it is, isn't it? It's Japan FC. If i got a report about some of the, the chefs doing up food poisoning settings, then I'll have to do it. And I'll have to do it my way. I did it my way. Still a few days away from having. Be interesting to see. We're still in the same position. Jordan Booth removed a uh, goalkeeping coach. Yeah. I know it's a situation where we might have to improve the coaching stuff going into next season as well. And he could have sort of laughed when he saw Piers Morgan. Like, literally. I, I was I was I was on that story. I was dedicated to reading that with the utmost professionalism. And then I was like, and I saw Piers Morgan, man. It was over. It Do was over. Favor, please <laughs> get out of here. Get out of here, um, man. Shit, I'm saying. Hey, hey man, you gotta do what you gotta do. If you need to do it. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that caught me just a little bit. That caught me. Connor Lourdes is coming into the club. Welcome, young lad. Another midfielder, midfielder, young player as well. I'm looking forward to what he can produce. One thing I'm going to be working on as well 
in the summer is bringing in more quality loan players. So not necessarily those permanent signings. I want to bring in those loan guys and see what they can do. Got to pick my team as well. Decent turnout expected. We love to see it. Improve the facilities. I have to ask the ownership to do that, right? Let me see. By the way, affiliate clubs right now is Stevenage. Let me see if I can ask finances. Finances, finances. So finances. Make broad requests. And then at facilities. What are we saying? Training facilities overall. Youth facilities or uh, increased youth, uh, youth level. I'm saying, yeah, training facilities probably, right? We'll see what they say. We'll see what they say. We'll see what they say. Shout out to Roselli. You have to improve all of them while rising to the top. That's a good point, you know. So I might as well just ask all of these, man. Let me just ask. Let me just ask them everything. Ask them everything. Increase youth level. Boom. Here we go. Ibrahim eligible for professional contract from Nigeria. 17 years old. Hasn't shown enough to justify. Could improve a lot in the future. Homegrown. Got a, got a bit of pace to him. Aggression, leadership. Long throwing. He's got that in the locker. I'll tell you that. But right now, definitely not of the level. Mm, Cameron Tutt, eh? What's going on here, lad? What's going on here, Cameron? Watch them be like, listen. I ain't investing in improving the facilities. I'll be heated because I know this owner's a little dodgy. You know? He's a little dodgy. From when he came with the takeover and didn't pump any finances actual in the club when it came to contributing on a, on a certain level, I was like, I'm watching you, you know, big man. I'm, I'm, I, I am watching you. Uh, let's see. Ruben Soares Jr., you can come in for Mr. Kemp. Cameron Tat. I'll put you in for Jack Evans. So we can form that partnership. I said, who the tut is that? Harrison, Andrew, folks, good National League guy. You and Pollock, I want to bring him back in. So I might take out Dan. No, but you know what? Ban this goalkeeper thing, man. Fire for that. Fire for that. Fire. Connor Lawless. I want to bring him in. Pot potentially might give him his debut today. Is he ready though? Is he that guy? Is he is he ready for the stage? Is he ready to be Japan FC? Who knows? Is he ready for the Japan FC? <laughs> uh, Alfie Egan. Buddy's on the yellow. 75 minutes of action for Lewis Simple, so maybe Ben Wells. But, mm, you know what? It is what it is, man. Because when I have my quality guys in there, when I have my quality guys, shout out to Manch for the hydrate. Let me see. I got my water. I got my water. Shout out to Manch for the hydrate. Scott Morris. Let me slap him back into the team. I don't know why you're unhappy, son. It is what it is. Stop being a wimp. Be that guy. Live up to the expectations. Shout out to Manch for starting the Battle Royale. We'll see who gets the W this time. We got Manch, we got Rizzelli, and me. That's it. So, you know, you can pick up some good looking W's. Got to win this game. It's true, Paxton. For us, this is a must win. No doubt about it. 
what number will be given Connor Lawless this time I'll give him number 23 MJ if you know you know we have to win Paxton all right back at the jerk cut home game against Habit and Waterlooville here's the opponent's lineup pulled out Dosweld selects number 13 Ryan Hoddart number 16 Sam Magri number four the captain Joe Osler number five Luke Prosser number 16 George Heaven number eight Lewis Gar number 12 Sadu Diallo number 17 Luca Woodhouse number 19 Lucius Vine number 22 Mohamedou Fahd number 25 Hamzad Cargo I finished the story congratulations to me on winning the battle royale why I <laughs> and now CM22 selects for Jerk Pad FC number one Harrison Mel number 19 Gus Scott Morris number 16 George Fowler number 14 Ethan Patterson number 15 the captain for today Cameron Tut number 18 Alfie Egan number 5 Pablo Martinez number 23 making his debut for JPFC Connor Lawless number 12 Joe Rollinson number 9 Ruben Swartz Jr and number 21 oh, here we go again Henry Timmy Davis referee David Richardson shout out to my guy King TJ in the car you're doing well Hope your day's been blessed. Appreciate you coming by each and every time. Come on, lads. Let's go out there. Do our thing. Get this win. That's the most important thing. Get this win. They got me versus Pax. Oh my god, I won again. This is fixed. I won again. Okay. Uh, did you ask for a coaching course? You need to improve. Hey, Brev, listen. I don't need none of it. None of this stuff. With all due respect, leave me alone. Thank you. Um, that's it, Rick. Did you ask for a coaching course? You need to improve your license as well. That's a good point, Rizzelli. That's a good point. So I'm going to look to do that too. i got to be on job. i got to be on job. <clears throat> job no right. <laughs> John thing no right, yeah. Um, listen, listen. I won't win the next one. I won't win it. If I win it. The... Is there a way I can prevent my, my own name from being that? I, I, might, I might need to look into that. I almost clicked ending. Oh. Come on, let's. See him rig this whole battle royale. Here's Martinez. Over the top to run. It's a nice run. Here's someone. Timmy Davis. Two and two for the Arsenal Loney. Henry Timmy Davis gives Jump and the lead. Come on. Again, just before half time, we needed that, we did it. If you win again, again in the stream, bro. I, hey, bro. <laughs> I said, if I win again, end the stream. Let's continue to punish these guys, man. We're at home, dominate Woodhouse, free kick for Haven. Good save by Harrison Mel. Oh, don't do it. Don't do it again. No, just take me out. Take me out. Thank you. Take me out. Vine whipping in the corner kick. Oh, Woodhouse was there. It was close by. Oh, Manj wins again. Why oi. Shout out to Manj winning the Battle Royale. Maybe it's rigged. It was him. We will see. We will see. It's time to make some subs. I almost forgot. Joe Roninson will bring on Dan Kemp. Pablo Martinez. No need to risk a potential red card. Red card. Um, I will bring on a striker. 
you and Pollock because he hasn't played in a minute. So let's give him some playing time. I want Lakers versus Celtics for the NBA final. A hey, Rizzelli. It could be looking towards that, I'm not going to lie. Nuggets are a really good team as well. But that would be the, the old school classic matchup, the rivalry between the teams who have won the most championships in NBA history. Los Angeles Lakers and Boston Celtics. And that would be a very interesting one. They're almost coming with the equalizer there. Haven't. Harrison Mill tried to kick it alone. But here's Fawn. Good bit of possession here. And dominance. I haven't. Here's Fawn again. Left wing. Great tackle. By Scott Morris. Now here's Pollock into Kemp. Can Japan finally look to finish off the game? Pollock! It was always going to be tough trying to score the goal from there. Let's just say that. But I haven't have had a much better second half. Here's Ashby on the corner kick. Headed away by Goblin. Lawless in the midfield trying to create. Pollock's in there headed away once again. Egan driving into the box. Oh! the crossbar and out all right it's time to it's time to go conservative fc conservative fc uh we will bring on mr ben trick at oh i've made my subs uh, alfie egan lawless we can play him there yeah, maybe switch around switch your route you know how it be, the midfield's not look the midfield's not looking too nice though. We need at least a, a decent guy in there. Patterson or Ashby out out there. Ah, we move. Let me see. Nah, we need Cameron to up there. Cause we ain't got man like Pablo Martinez on the pitch. It is what it is. <laughs> Hey, three subs. It's not fair, bruv. Why can't I have five, man? It's rigged like Argentina winning the World Cup. That's crazy. It's like my boy Bo uh, Bogdan Bogdanovic and his seat. You know what? We won the game. Come on. Uh, ads in, in yeah, ad settings. Say no more. What's it called? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm speaking to Rizzelli and he's off. Say no more. Let me know when you're back. Yo, both back. Let me slap that in there just in case. Very well done, lads. A big W for Jack Pan FC. A 1 0 win. <laughs> I said, hell no, is this ITV? Is this ITV? So that's a big win for us. All the teams around are still one game in hand. So we've got to keep track on that. But Barrow, they're there. We're up there as well. We're fighting for a playoff spot. And that's all we need in the end of the day. That's all we want. That's all we need. Hopefully we can get it. Hopefully we can get it. Man I said, why am I watching Hollyoaks, you know? CM management in this stream. One, two, zero lost. One grade so far. All right. So two, one, two, zero drew. So zero drew, one lost. Grade so far. C plus. Jerk Panassi pushing for a playoff spot. Come on, come on, come on, come on. We love to see it. We love to see it, man. Man saying he's back. I know Rosetti's back in the cut as well. Just shout out to you guys. Oh, yeah, Bogdan Bogdanovich. Yeah, you see the Atlanta Hawks? It's, it's not looking good for them right now, fam. It's, it's not looking... Man said I gifted a sub, fam. Man said Linsky. I gifted one sub in the chat. And Linsky. Shout out to Linsky. Wherever you are, man. Wherever you are. And what, what I might do, yeah. What I'm going to do every month. I think I'm going to... I'm going to do like a little... Random. So at the end of this month. I'm going to do like a... A random spin the wheel thing. And then everybody in that stream, or maybe even in the Discord, 
or but yeah, probably everybody in the stream who's there at the time, I'm going to spin the wheel and then gift the sub to that person at the end of the month. So let me know how that sounds. What I might do is I'll, I'll do a little new channel in the Discord. I'll do a new channel in the Discord for like competition settings. Let me make sure it's private right now. Competition. I'll skip that right now. So yeah, I'll add that little thing later on. More ads. Ma Wait, man just had ads, bro. Now, what's going on in this thing? Twitch, fam. The brother just had ads and he has six more. Ah, uh, Twitch is going too far with these ads, fam. I'm not going to lie. But yeah, the Atlanta Hawks, they haven't been at their best for quite a while now. Since reaching the conference finals, Rizzetti, they've kind of plateaued. They've gone down a bit. And... You know, I was speaking to Roland about it over on our streams at Pros Only Sports and stuff like that. <sighs> I feel like the attitude of the team is not great. Um, they also have some deficiencies on the basketball court in terms of playing defense, commitment, which is an attitude thing as well. So uh, uh, not good things are happening right now for the Atlanta Hawks. Things need to change, to be fair, because they've changed their coach again this season. I believe it was, uh, was it Nate McMillan coaching? And now it's um, Utah's old coach, Quinn Snyder. If you see this, I'll be back a hard time. Twitch be bugging out sometimes. Facts, Paxton. Because I don't understand. Uh, is he still shaking his head after he scores? I miss that guy. Fam. <laughs> uh, he, he be shaking his head. Cut, cut. When he finally makes the shot. That makes me laugh though, you know. Man said deliver route at you know when a player's having a bad performance, they score a free or something like that, and they're just like they're just like okay, so you're rejected to improve uh training facility. I knew it. This Ant Smith joke, man, he is selfish. He don't want to give nothing to the club. Read my other message. Oh, Fanabashi Becker also lost his chance to qualify for the Euro League final four in the last match. The series was 2 2 and we lost the fifth game. Damn. Commiserations, man. Commiserations for real. So Ruben Sorge Jr. is tired again, fam. I'm sick and tired of this guy. He's being dropped for the next few weeks. Youth facilities and youth level all rejected. So the owner's not trying to do nothing with Jack Panacea right now. Real talk, he's trying to say, listen, you do your job. Know your role and shut your mouth and I will do mine. It is what it is, I guess. It is what it is. This is interesting, you know. So these glasses haven't been, well, when you put it up like really high, kind of glares, but it hasn't really been glaring like that. And there's not much of a reflection, which is good. Maybe when it's up close, I guess. Let me switch to the intermission screen real quick. No, it's not that bad. Okay, okay. We can work with this. We we can work with this. Hey, Madge might have been off to buy a Deliveroo after seeing the ad. I'm not going to lie. Deliveroo, tell me where you want, brother. You know I got the food. Man, we... We've got, we've got a, a break in between games right now. And it's a positive because that means all of my guys can get fully fit. They can recover. we got a few training sessions under our belt. I'm not complaining. Because all season it's just been go, 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 go. There's been some runs where we haven't even been able to train not one bit. In 2012, for the Bache beat Boston Celtics. I still can't forget that, man. Wow. Wow, 2012, man. That was before. Let me see, hold on. Okay. Celtics. 97 to 91. 
I, I think this was before the big three got. Let me see. Was this before the big three got traded away? Yeah, so Kevin Garnett and Paul Pierce, Rondo, all those guys were still there on the roster. So this was before they got traded to Brooklyn. That's crazy. But they were getting a little older at this point. Uncle Jeff Green there. Hey, those guys play. Those guys showed out, fam. <laughs> they showed out. And then 2015, they beat the Brooklyn Nets. Hey. It must have been gassed. Um, Gus Scott Moyes drops. Uh, lack of football concerns. Yeah, you should. You should. Who do you think you are? A uh, lack of football. We're building a bit of depth now. You are fight for your places, Gus. Tottenham to discuss new contract for Son. Korea, something and other with Atletico. All right, I'm happy with you. You're over six this week. That's what I require. There's a guy in eight. What a performance in training. I love that. Blessings to everybody that is here, that has been here over the course of this stream, however. Thank you for everybody that's been in the chat, everybody that's been lurking as well. If you want to make yourself known, please feel free. And if you're new, be sure to hit that follow button. And become a member of the 22s you can also join the community discord with this command hit the link and there are many different conversations the weekly schedule gets released there whether you're a sports fan gaming movies tv and just general chatter voice channels as well you can do all of that stuff there and be sure to follow me on socials twitter youtube and over here on twitch Sevilla eliminate both Man U and Fenerbahce this year. Hey Amen. I, I don't want to. I don't want to hear Sevilla's name anymore. But now, nah, listen, they, they they've had our number for real. They've had our number for quite a while now. Brings up a bit of pain, you know. But it is what it is. Sometimes that's the way in football. That is the way of life. It's a 30 year old striker. Uh, Man United will play Olympic Lyonnais in a pre season friendly in Edinburgh at BT Murray Field on the 19th of July. Well, that's an interesting game. Um, yeah, interesting. How are Lyon doing this season in the league on? Because I haven't even been paying attention as much this season to the external leagues and, and the other team positioning and stuff like that. Lack of back on form for them. Ah, yes. I did hear uh, a, a couple weeks back that he's been scoring some goals for Leon. Asna could have done with them goals still. Not going to lie. Was it just me that thought Lacazette was an underrated, uh, underrated player for Arsenal? Like, he, he seemed to get a lot of slack, a lot of criticism, sometimes warranted. But I thought he was a good player for us, especially under Arteta. But I guess when you watch them week in, week out, it's a different story as well. Man like Gerard Mushesh today. Let's see, pens, pens, pens. Connor Lawless right now is our best penalty taker. But you can go above every, eh, well. You can go everybody. Go ahead and tell everybody. Welcome to the club. At the start, by the end, nah, he was rubbish, Shane Paxton. Rizzelli saying they beat us 2-0 in the first match. They made full, um, full defense in the second match. They didn't even come off the, de uh, come off the defense. We beat them 1-0, but it wasn't enough. If we could eliminate Sevilla, maybe we would have uh, we would have watched the, the Man United versus Fenerbahce match. It's true. He was tasked with scoring goals and the other assist, he couldn't do that. Yeah, probably towards the end. He, he, he wasn't good enough. <laughs> Trent 
true say, Paxton. True say. Yeah, they're, 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 <laughs> Arsenal fans are funny though because like I'm not the 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 kind of guy to go out there really like I'll, I'll have my banter from time to time, but I'm not gonna pile it on right. But it's crazy how it there was talk about the parade, all of this stuff there. Like they were enjoying life, enjoying life as he should. Top of the league, enjoy life, but. It almost felt like it was a foregone conclusion before everything was finished, before the contest was finished, which makes this situation of them just letting that nut first position go and the title go ultimately very shocking in that regard, you know? Because even I started to believe, like, I started to believe they're going to do it. I was saying in my, I was saying in my head, like, they were, they are going to do it. And I believed it. So when it, when it didn't happen, I was like, damn. It's crazy that they were, they were going to go out like that in the end of the day. I said I couldn't believe it. I'm not an Arsenal fan, but I was supporting them for the championship. They turned into a completely different team. They made a fuss. They lost their playing style. And the result is clear. City will be champions. It's true, is Eddie? You know? They lost their... their uh, along the way, it, whether it was pressure, a lack of discipline and stuff like that, the identity of what we saw from Arsenal early in the season, which was great football, composure on the ball, there's so many different aspects which made them look extremely good at the start of the season. They lost all of that identity. And that's what ultimately has, has messed them up. Real and proper. Top of the league over 90% of this season. Then fumbling, fumbling it so hard. It's crazy, isn't it? Rob holding the most Smith defender I've ever seen. He's not a good enough backup. Yeah, that was the problem, right? So Arsenal, when you look at the City's team, they have some great backups, great starters, fantastic depth in general. But you look at Arsenal, as good as that starting lineup had performed for about three quarters of the season, when the backups had to come in because of injuries to uh, Saliba, to Jesus, and to various other guys, I think Zinchenko, he's out for the rest of the season now. It's crazy. So um, injuries to those guys, even Thomas Partey to a certain extent. Mm, like backup, backup's not good enough. They didn't have the depth in, in order to compete at this level, especially when the fatigue of a, of a long season starts hitting in and the pressure as well. They just couldn't handle it. <clears throat> Arteta is not someone who can handle the rising tension. Pep does that. Very that is what we've seen from... Uh, it is what we've seen from Mr. Arteta so far is that in these last two seasons, they had great positioning to try and capture top four and it didn't happen due to a late capitulation. And now a great opportunity to win a title and once again, a capitulation. So does that say something about the team? Maybe a bit of the manager as well because... Ultimately, he's the guy setting the culture and, and developing these players to handle the situations they're dealt with. It's an interesting conversation to be had. But for now, Vanarama National League, Gateshead versus Jerk Pan FC. Let's read the Ops. Mike Williamson selects number 31. we got James Montgomery. Number five, Kenton Richardson. Number eight, Owen Bailey, number 17, Luke Crow, number 16, Casey Bartlett Scott, number 2, Robbie Tinkler, number 10, the captain, Greg Ollie, number 20, Connor Panic, number 9, Remy Longdon, number 11, Adam Campbell, and number 14, Asha Abinou Abinouan. And now for Joe Panessi, CM22 selects. Number one, Harrison Mail. Number 16, George Fowler. Number 14, Ethan Patterson. Number 15, the captain for today, Cameron Tut. Number two, Sam Packham. Number five, Pat
Pablo Martinez. Number 18, Alfie Egan. Number 20, Gerard Bouchetere. Number 22, Dan Kemp. Number 9, Ruben Soares Jr. And number 8, Josh Ashby. The referee for today is Scott Simpson. Simple. You gotta motivate these guys. Get them ready. Get them inspired away from home against the third, the third best team in the league according to the standings. What can we do? Come on, Japan! Here's Martinez into Cameron Tut. Got the responsibility of leading the pack of wolves. Here's Egan into Packham. Speaking about packs, whipped in corner kick and it'll get straight into Montgomery's hands from a via deflection. Arteta did say he's not at the final stage of the process so far, so we will see. To be fair, most of us predicted they would fight to get exactly Paxton, which makes this season so crazy because nobody expected Arsenal to be title challengers this season. It's crazy. Harrison Mill, the alpha male of our species. Here's Moshe Tere! Oh. Unlucky. Unlucky, lads. Good start to the game. Positive. I'm loving it. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. If you smell what the jerk pan is cooking. They've got back into the game ever so slightly. That's something that we've got to pay attention to. Here's Mel. Distribution along this time. And now here's Joe Mushashatele. Throw a goal. Oh, the tame. The tamest of shots by Joe Mushashatele. Oh, we need to take one of these chances. Does he have a feeling? When they come out in the second half, it's going to be a different story. Man, I'm, I'm disappointed that we didn't take one of these chances. Pablo Martin is looking ill-disciplined. Well, I'm mossy. All right, lads. Big man thing, yeah? It's not looking good, bruv. It's not looking good. Listen, we all gates head after what happened in our last match. Go out there and get revenge! Come on. I trust this lineup. They've played well in that first half. Second half, if we need reinforcements, they are there. Come on, lads. Come on. Oh, Kemp is injured. Dan Kemp. You got Rodinson lucky enough, so. Be the difference, lad. Be the difference. I might make another sub. I was going to make some subs just now anyway. Montgomery kicks it out. Here's Bailey. Bartlett Scott. Panny. Into Campbell. Gateshead looking to take the lead here at home. Campbell. Good chance. In the box. Thomas. Over the bar. Right. It's time to... Oh, Cameron Tuck. Free kick. Long range. And... Nowhere near, to be honest. Let me make some subs. Gerald Moshechetere getting down there. You and Pollock. Let me slap him in position. Um, Jack Evans. I'm gonna bring him on for Pablo Martinez. I'm gonna keep it, keep it jiggy. Luton Town on one nil up. Gabriel Osho, if you remember that name, you are an OG of the Jerk Pan FC series. If you remember Gabriel Osho, if you remember the name. <laughs> then, so now the aggregate score is 2-2 between Sunderland and Luton in that playoff semi-final. If you remember Gabriel Osho, man said Jiggy, are you Will Smith? Hey, big man, respect me, fam. Jiggy, Jiggy on deck. Encourage the lads again 
10 minutes to go. Free kick for Josh Ashby. Big chance for Jerk Pan FC. Oh, over the bar again. Montgomery's going to kick it out now. The gate said, win the header. Well done. Here's Cameron Tut. Long range. Good header by Tinkler. We win it back again though. Here's Ashby into Robinson. Robinson on the run. Big chance for Japan. Good save, Montgomery. Corner kick. Ashby to take. Whips it in. Headed away again. Ashby once more. Poor touch though. And that will be that for now. Cameron Tuck taking a free kick. It's Steve Pollard. God, oh my 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 god. Bam. Bam. Park the damn bus. Park the damn bus. Come on. You and Pollock. Five minutes added on. Hold on, lads. Hold on, jerk pan. We've done it. One nil victory. For Jerk Pan FC against Gateshead, away from home. The third best team in the league gets put down by the more fire crew. Come on, Jerk Pan. Come on. Come on. Let's go. That's a big win for us. Big win. They turn up, they showed out 19 shots, seven on target. They fought for that victory. Great crossing by Cameron Tuck. Pollock with the deep Jump header NFC. into the back of the net. Come on, man. Come NFC. on. Jump on FC. Running, Running down, down the grill. We do it all for thrill. Jump on FC. That's a big win. And we held on to it. The defensive formation is, is working to a T. I'm not going to lie. You, you, after a certain amount of minutes, you switch to that formation, solidified. See a management in this stream. One free, drew zero, lost one. Grade so far, B. Shout out to Paxton for giving the updates throughout the stream as well. And now we oh, okay, okay, okay. So now we're working with something. We're all level. On 33 games. Osho has been a lone merchant in real life, but back performing where it matters. Hey, come on. I've been saying that since this is FM21. <laughs> Shout out to Paxton, man. Hey, man said, man said jiggy with it, fam. <laughs> let me keep it a low five beats, bro. Wait, let, 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 me, let me put on this song, actually. I'll, I'll, I'll put on this song real quick for man. What is this about now, man? Oh, this one. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Damn, I ain't heard this in time, man. But yeah, we're into the playoff spots right now, ladies and gentlemen. Still a long way to go. I'm not going to lie. Still a long way to go. We're all level on 33 games. Level with Barrow, 52 points. We just got a win against Gateshead. Look where they are in the league. They're in the playoff spots as well. But still, but still, we were able to win. 52 points, up there on goal difference. Let's continue the good run. Come on. Fans reaction. Unbelievable result that. Let's really build some momentum now. Just got back from the match. Did not see that coming. What a result. Wheel it, man. Wheel it. Wheel it. Wheel it. Luton almost, almost again scoring. Come on, Sunderland, man. Hold up in there. Oh, 
Hey, expectations for upcoming match against Gateshead. What was it? So the board expectation was a defeat. The support expectation was a defeat. Well, guess what? We won! But we got calm down, karma, karma, and go again. Japan SC move into promotion contention. A goal from you and Pollock, the substitute, helped Japan SC move into the Vanarama National League promotion hunt after a 1 0 victory over Gateshead on a wet evening at Gateshead International Stadium. Japan SC's Kent was forced off with a twisted ankle in the 61st minute whilst attempting to sprint. Damn. With the game there in an end, it was Ewan Pollock who scored a header to give Japan SC the lead on 89 minutes. 89 minutes. Pollock's impact delighted the fans with his late goal. Scott Simpson didn't have the best game of his career. Japan SC struggled to seize possession, but were still able to manage more efforts at goal. Japan SC have been playing far beyond expectations all season and find themselves in 7th place in the National League. Come on. How long is Dan Kemp out for? 4 to 5 weeks? <sighs> it is what it is, I guess. I can't believe twisted ankle after sprinting, bro. Damn. Did I not drop Ruben Swords Jr? I didn't drop him. I'm going to drop him for the next time. I, I got to give him about a couple weeks out. Got to give him a couple weeks break. Uh, Dorkin Wanderers up next. Breaking. Sheikh Yassim has made an extra extraordinary <laughs> 11th hour take it or leave it offer for MESC. Coming from Mike Keegan. Hmm. I also watch, I'm going to drop this video in you guys because I think um, there's this channel, United People's TV, and he's been doing a good little, uh, well, he's done a series of interviews with Ben Jacobs. What the hell? I got unsubscribed from the channel, bro. Oh, I know why. I'm on my wrong one. I'm not even on CM22 ENT. I'm on CM22 VODs, bro. <laughs> there we go. But yeah, um, I've been doing a good series of uh, kind of conversations, interviews with Ben Jacobs. I'm going to drop it in the chat for you guys to watch away from the stream. Away from the stream. We've been talking about the situation as a whole. And what the expectations could be going forward in this Manchester United sell process. But interesting news there coming from Paxton. We'll have to see what, what goes on next. <clears throat> All right, cool. Ruben Swords Jr. Uh, let me get, bring on uh, Mike Keegan as CM Sources. Fam, Mike Keegan ain't CM Sources, bro. I, t I keep on telling people I have no sources. I know man sources is there. You stick to your man sources. I ain't got no sources, fam. Uh, let me let me switch back to you. Let me switch back to that. My low fi Martin is suspended now. You foolish boy. Louis Simpa. Welcome back in. Um now. Timmy Davis. He might get a one off the bench today. But I want to reward Scott Pollock for that. Brilliant win, got a uh, game winning goal. My sources is in the kitchen, bro. Hey, fam, you you got sources, bro. I don't want to hear none of that. I don't want to hear none of the talking. Connor Lourdes, you can come back in now. We're gonna need that extra midfielder up in there. We'll see how we're feeling closer to the game. We're not too far away now. We are not too far away. Accusation, I'm. Um, there's no false accusations. We've seen it. People have seen it. Stadium, build new stadium. <laughs> hey, build new stadium. Sheikh Yassim's offer is said to be significantly higher than his previous offer. There still values MUC, uh still values MUC at less than what Sir Jim Radcliffe's bid does. What?
You see, this 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 thing is just, this thing's insane. Twist turn upside down. Foolishness I go on, man. <laughs> that makes no sense. I was saying, man, man, it's a whole heap of foolishness. How could it be the nah, nah. That's why, this is why I distance myself from all of these journalists reporting on the story, bro. Like, well, most of them anyway, because it, it like, there's way too many, like, discrepancies. If that's the right word to use. summarize the board feel like you are doing an unbelievable job and you're clearly the right manager so listen yeah you know we can look here a plus job a plus job true it does let's see what you're saying about it because i'm thinking the qatar bid would be a one-time amount that is exactly what kind of tesco bid news is this from matt keegan yeah, because if it's significantly bigger, then you would expect it to be the highest bid. I'd take it or leave it settings, bro. Believe you can do better in the transfer market in the future, no doubt. Matches, C+. Plus. But look, people are happy. People are happy. A plus job. A plus job. The supporters are... They're a little lower, C+, plus, a bit harder to please. They're particularly pleased with my, with my formation of recent. Uh, satisfied with the players in good form. Happy with the transfers. Pleased with the recent results. And just the vision and culture. So, we love to see it. We love to see it. Come on, Jack Pan. Dagger never read bridge. But first, it's Dawkins Wanderers. It's one of these rivals for these promotion spots again, these playoff spots. So we've got to be on job. We've got to be on J-O-B. Let me make sure these guys. So Cameron Tut, he's not fully fit for the game. So Jack Evans, sir, you are coming in. Japan FC, Japan FC, Japan FC, running, running down, down the grill, we do it all for, for thrill. Japan, Japan FC. FC, come on, big up Rizzelli. I'm just waiting for UV to go live saying, man. Craig Tanner, I, I said I was going to put him in the position. Do I want to start Mr. Craig, Daniel Craig? The other option we've got, um, Lee Harking, maybe. I feel like, if anything, <sighs> Lee Harking, Lee Harking, Lee Harking, maybe. Craig Tanner. <sighs> You know what? I'll play Craig Tanner. See what he does. See, see what he can do for me. Man say what a save from the Sunderland keeper. Dan Kemp injured. Pablo Martinez suspended. Scott Morris. I'll leave him off there for now. Or maybe I'll take him in for Cameron Tut. Connor Lourdes is in there to be played as well. He's gaining match sharpness. So I probably won't start him. Um, Pollock, Pollock, Pollock. I said I wanted to reward him by starting him for this game, and that I shall do. Do Simp and Craig Tanner, they're gaining a bit of sharpness, so hopefully that doesn't kick us in the butt at this point of the season in this game. But uh, we will see, ladies and gentlemen, because we are back at home. The Jerker, Fenerama National League, Jerk Pan FC versus Talking Wanderers. The Ops select with Bernard Morley being the manager. Number one, Bradley Forster. Number 22, the captain, Barry Fuller. 
Number 18, Dan Matsuzaka. Number 16, Edon Pruti. Number 3, Ta Tafari Moore. Tafari Moore. Interesting name. Number 20, Alex Denny. Number 19, Munashe Sundri Sundir. Dire. Dire. Munashe Sundir. 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 Number 26, Jack Hinchy. Number 8, Matt Briggs. Number 12, Jordan I. Number 9, Ryan Seeger. And now the home team, Jack Patterson. CM22 selects number one, Harrison Mel. Number two, Sam Packham. Number 16, George Fowler. Number 14, Ethan Patterson. Number three, the captain for today, Jack Evans. Number 18, Alfie Egan. Number six, Lewis Simpa. Number eight, Josh Ashby. Number 12, Joel Rollinson. Number 27, Craig Tanner. And number 10, Ewan Pollock. The referee for today is Ed Duckworth. Sonja here joins in the share. Hey, listen. I'm, I'm very excited for what, for, for in the share. I, 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 you know, I'm, I'm excited for that. We'll see, man. We, we, are, we haven't seen nothing of it. Unless they were on Monday Night Raw today because I, I haven't watched the full episode. I think I'm like, Maybe halfway, halfway through, or a little over that. I might even be less than halfway through. I'm not gonna lie. Here's Evans. Long ball. And it's nowhere near you and Pollock. Foster claims with ease. Packham, good header. And Egan claims. Come on. Rollinson driving down that right wing, cutting inside now. Here's Egan. Nice ball, no, not, not nice enough. And Simper gets it back. Now Tanner into running side. Oh, off the post. That's what we need to continue doing, though. Egan over to Pollock Kenner. Straight into the keeper, and it was offside anyway. Oh, what did you watch in the show? What was the last thing? The last thing was um, Becky Lynch was about to make her entrance. Oh, no. With the goal, first of the season. From a long free kick. Jerk Pan FC, who 1-0 down. Early on. Rodinson trying to head it towards a teammate. The goal scorer intercepts them. And here he is again, Sundir. <laughs> Intercepted by Simpa. Coming forward with the ball and giving it away. Come on. Seager, good ball, Briggs driving down the right hand side, great ball, and it was almost 2 0. The start to this game could have resembled the very first. Jared Panessi still have an opportunity to get back in it. There has not good, been a good performance so far in terms of execution in front of goal. He's simple. Into Patterson. Egan. Ashby. Nice passing play for Jerkpad. Tanner. Poor pass. Gets it back. Pollock! Over an hour in the show. Say no more. Say no more. Hey, listen. Lads. Whew. Do I bring on Timmy Davis? Impact the game that way. Damn, Sam Packham is exhausted, bro. I'm definitely having to bring him off. Maybe these guys later on in danger of losing different discipline. Alf Egan. I keep it this way. Show me something else. Point finger. Show me something else in the second half. Come on, lads. Inspired. Do your thing. Let's get back in this game. 55 minutes, if I don't see improvement, changes will be made. Say no more. Um, so Josh Ashby, Connor Lawless can come on. We'll see what he can do. Um, 
Alfie Egan is getting a little tired, so maybe I might have to bring in Ben Wells. Or do I take the risk and make the sub bring on Henry? Fide Mignon, what a save. Yes, and it's still nil-nil between Inter and AC Milan. Here's Simpa, gives the ball away to Hinchy. Luti. CM Miles fumbling in the NBA jerk and fumbling in the playoffs. Fam, listen, Miles Montavious is definitely fumbling in the NBA right now. Here's Timmy Davis through a goal. Lop! Come on. You go again. You go again. Let's go attacking, lads. Come on. Come on. But yeah, I have been fumbling in the NBA, I'm not going to lie. But that series has been fun. Let me know if you guys have been enjoying it. Saruda. Ball in! Then he almost made it 2-0 and it could have been game over from there. Come on, lads. At least salvage the draw. At least. Japan, please. We've lost it, Rev. I fumbled. We fumbled, man. I don't understand how at home we lose that game. And now Dorking, they go into the playoff spot. And we're even below eighth. We're below Barrow. We're one point behind. Um, it's never going to be my top choice because I don't watch basketball at all, but it's up there just for the fumbles. <laughs> Say no more, man. Appreciate it. But yeah, the fumbling has been crazy in the NBA so far. I even fumbled a street game as well. I'll be on YouTube for the rig game tonight. Big up CC in a bit. Big up yourself, man. CM management this stream. One free. Not drew zero. Lost two. Gray so far. B minus. That's being kind. Hey, I need you to be ruthless, Faxton. Be ruthless. But that was not a good game, man. That, that was poor. Three wins, two losses. Oh, that hurts, man. Because I felt like I was on my way up in, in that. I'm heated. I'm heated. Is this guy's free agent? He's a free agent. 28 years of age. Could potentially pick him up. Just as another option in there. Box to box settings. Advance, he's good there. Deep line playmaker. Why not, lad? You're not important, though. Say squad player. Take this off. Remove. Fire me that. Boom, bow. I've seen this guy around a few times. Why not add to that midfield? This At my disposal. I feel like we should have won that game. But we have a great opportunity against Dagenham and Redbridge to bounce back. Another Ronaldo penalty scored. Hey, my light CR. Big CR in the cut. Hold on, hold on. Gotta mute my browser just in case. Alright, cool, 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 cool. There we go. Where have you guys gone? There we go. Who are they playing today, Paxton? Al Nasir. Sam Osborne, man. He's out on loan. Farnborough man in the match. I'm not sure if he's going to have a role with Jerk Pan FC. I'm not going to lie when he comes back. Because I don't think he's cutting it. We need to improve. Shout out to Gerald Mashashatele. I'm telling you, if he continues to grow, if he continues to do his thing, he will be with us for a long time, al -tai. Say no more, if I said it correct, al -tai. al -tai. 
you know what? It's almost been like a reality show. Ronaldo being a, 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 a on this air. <laughs> like they, I've been seeing them streaming it live on on Sky Sports. Like, in what situation would they ever do that? Like, we've seen the clips as well when he's upset after certain results and all that stuff. There, it's it's, it's been wild, wild. Goal update: Luton are now tuning up against Sunderland. Ah, oh, don't tell me Sunderland about to be fumbling the bag. Don't tell me Sunderland about to be fumbling. 14 goals, 2 assists in 30 matches. Not bad for it, uh, for his, his age, but man could have gone to... Yeah, that's the thing, Paxton. Like, I would have loved to have seen him go elsewhere in Europe, right? And just just play some good football there, innit? But it is what it is, innit? It? It's his life, and, and that's it in the end of the day. Man saying fumbling. I'm telling you, they're fumbling. After I saw that Ahmad guard, like, it has to be. Imagine Sun Sunderland being back in the Premier League would be lit for the for the Tyneside Derby, man. Luton's ground don't deserve Prem football. That's wild, man. What what's the ground looking like? Uh, Luton Town Kenilworth Road. saying could Kenworth Road host Premier League football BBC News this was posted five days ago that's crazy so man that packs is on to something I'm gonna have to read that how oh housing estate type ground okay <clears throat> watch more people um, watch Saudi Arabia League if Pessy man said Pessy goes there <laughs> hey these names, Packham considering his options. Uh, I'm aware that Sam Packham intends on considering his options at the end of the season and that his mind isn't made up regarding his future. He stopped short of confirming his intentions but did go as far as saying he needs time to think things through. Okay, that's fair enough. It's fair enough. That is fair enough. If you want to leave... Maybe the time is now. The time is now like the Manche Kushner. Shout out to Santi. Alfie Egan. Can you fix it? Yeah, we'll keep Alfie Egan in there. Um, Pablo Martinez. I'll, I think I'll put Pablo in for... Um, Gus Scott Morris. Uh, Sam... Pack him as well, so I give him a little rest in that regard. Even though he doesn't really need it, I can keep Sam Packham, but just a little friendly rotation. Uh, Patterson, I'll bring in Ben Tricker. And I will I will probably bring in an extra winger in Ruben Sorge Jr. and take out um, Himmy. Or maybe I can bring Himmy in. There, make sure he's playing his optimum position as a poacher. That is fine with me. You and Pollock. Eh, I'll I'll put Pollock in there and allow Anna I'll rest the other. Um, housing set. Look up the loot and ground entrance. People are actually living next to the ground. No space whatsoever. Let me see it real quick. Hey, yo, what? That's crazy. <laughs> There's literally houses by the side of the, the <laughs> some of the stands. Wow. That is crazy, man. So by the stands, there's, there's like people are living above the entrances, at the side of the entrances. That's kind of litty, man. But it's crazy, though. Premier League estate. <laughs> Said the Chili's man saying, man, them houses must be cheap. <laughs> it's crazy. Imagine they, they get promoted. Imagine they get promoted. Hold on. Let me, let me switch to my desktop. Imagine they get promoted, yeah. Imagine they get promoted, fam. And you're going to be bumping to 
Premier League football. You're you're on your TV watching Man United play Luton, and you can hear the atmospherics. So you, <laughs> that is crazy. So like you you could mute the TV and just listen to the listen to the ground. Man, that that's kind of lit. I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of lit. But it's true, Paxton, because like some people will see that as a massive inconvenience. Like I don't know, but then it's, but then you ask the question, why did you sign up for a house like that then? But nah, that's it's crazy. I think I've got my my team sorted out, my team sheet sorted out. I believe maybe I bring in Ruben Swords Jr. Back into the lineup after a few weeks out, potentially. Um, do I bring in Lee Harkin, giving them an opportunity, give Joel Rollinson a little one off the bench? Let's see what Lee Harkin can do. Let's see what you can do, son. Let's go. Once again, blessings to everybody that has been here over the course of the stream, man. You know, it's always appreciated whether you're here in, in the chat or you're lurking. Be sure to hit that follow if you're new as well. Share to your friends and frenemies and follow me over here on Twitter and YouTube for a different kind of content. And if you want to join the community Discord, feel free, ladies and gentlemen. A lot of conversations, the weekly schedule gets down in the court. The 22 over Yasa. But now... Our attention's over to the Vanarama National League. Dagenham and Redbridge versus Jerk Pan FC. The op select. Number one, Elliot Justin. Number 15, the captain, Nicola Tavares. Number four, Patrick Alman. Number five, Emmanuel Onalais. Number 30, Sam Hart. Number 12, Matt Robinson. Number 14, Mohamed Sangare. Number 31, Matt Lowe. Number 6, Omar Musa. Number 35, Omari Patrick. And <coughs> Damn. Number 11, Stephen Walker. And now for Joe Panessi. Number 1, Harrison Mel. Number 16, George Fowler. Number 4, Ben Tricker. Number 3, the captain for today, Jack Evans. Number 19, Gus Scott Morris. Number 6, Lewis Simper. Number 18, Alfie Egan. Number 21, Henry Terry Davis. Number 11, Lee Harkin. Number 9, Ruben Soares Jr. And number 8, Josh Ashby. Referee for today, Michael Barlow. Hey, listen. No, the underdogs, but go out here. Give the fans a performance to cheer on, man. That's what I'm talking about. Give the fans a performance to cheer. Uh, up against Dagenham and Redbridge. Let's do our thing, ladies and gentlemen. Away from home. We need to avenge that last loss. It was tough. It was painful. We were heated in the dressing room. Let's do this. We're gonna do this! Here's Musa with the corner kick, low. Sangade's shot was blocked and now Jerk Pan can come away on the counter attack. Ashby, great challenge. Source Jr. just can't quite get to it. Alman, and that'll be that for now. Corner kick for Jerk Pan. Ashby to whip it in, foul the near post. And it's wider the goal. It's gonna, always gonna be difficult to Navigate that one towards Justin in the back of the net. It's Sangare into Almond. Part of the top two. Patrick on the left wing. Bodies in the area. Decides to go back to Hart now. Sangare. Robinson long range. And that may have clipped the top of the bar. Here's Tavares, the captain. Playing ball. Good possession for Dagenham and Redbridge thus far. Patrick, ball in. Walker over his head. Now Egan into Harkin. Good challenge. Dagenham have been very aggressive in that regard. And trying to win the ball back as soon as possible. Oh no! Walker! Wide! 
a great ball over the top and somehow somehow Stephen Walker can't get it on target here's Musa headed away by Evans now low has to dribble out and pass it back to the goalkeeper now Hart to Sangare playing it into Musa Musa big chance big goal for Dagenham and Redbridge 1-0 and Jack Panna 1-0 down once again shout out to Brush Hope for doing well today he's been best appreciated coming by each and every time I'm not actively watching the, the Milan game actually for some reason I always forget about Champions League that takes place right now what? I, I've got it open on my tab so I'm kind of in, in between the man just giving some updates as well so I'm, I'm half in, half out kind of thing. How are you doing today, Brush? Here's Harkin, through and goal for Japan! Oh. Come on, lads. Ashby ball in. Get it away again. Oh, 1 0 down at half time. It's frustrating. Something's got to change. Let's see. Fowler. Bring on Pablo Martinez, possibly. Just to give him that bit of rest. I'm not going to change too much. Maybe Joe Rollinson. At 50, 50 odd minutes, possibly. But come on. Let's just keep them motivated. Allow them to do their thing. Let's fire them up. Let's fire the lads up. Paxton put in a comment right there. I'll get to it in a second, bro. Shake your seems new offer for MEFC still falls short of Sir Jim Rankin's valuation, which could be close to six billion if he buys the whole club in the next two to four years. Valuation price per share, Yassine bid uh, is for 100 percent and maybe around 5.5 billion straight. Oh! Radcliffe's bid is 51% is for 3 billion, valuing the club at 6 billion total. It seems offer is higher as all the money is offered now and not in the next two to three years like Radcliffe. Good, just chilling, watching the football, trying the best of where the latest. Exactly, brush this. Oh no, I forgot! We lost bro. That that was a hey, you can put that in poor mismanagement, man. That's that's mismanagement right there. I completely forgot to make the subs that I wanted to make. And I think that's what two losses in the bounce now. After a great win, two losses in a bounce. CM management this stream. One free. Drew none. Lost free. Great so far. D plus, yeah, yeah, especially after that mistake, that grade is going downhill. Decline, I don't want to comment to these journalists, man. But yeah, brush the, the takeover stuff is, is quite wild right now. I'm not even gonna lie, it's quite wild. There's just so many contradictions between reporters, journalists. I'm just waiting to see what happens when we get to the very end of this whole situation because hey Denzel Boadu once again if you are Japan OG you know about Denzel Boadu you know about him don't really need no more mids 21 year old centre back expensivo Man, 18 natural fitnesses. Crazy. He's 18 years old as well. Could be a good uh a good investment. Harry Giroud could be a possible affiliate loan target from Stevenage. Affiliate loan target. I feel like I've got enough STs, but for the future, could be a potential signing. Already got 13 heading. 11 off the ball now. His positioning is... Oh my God, his positioning is horrific. 
Work rate is poor. Nah, maybe not. Maybe not. <laughs> Could it improve drastically potentially? I don't know. Maybe we sign him and then we loan him back. Or we or loan him out. Loan him out potentially. I don't but some of those stats are dire. Dire. It's not looking good type of dire. Well, I'll think about it. Adam Wilson, interested in transfer, unknown, alone interest, 23 year old winger, the quality for me is not there, and I don't need a goalkeeper, so much cons compared to the pros, now nah, leave that guy, I hear you Paxson, I hear you, I hear you, I hear ya, alright we're going up against Boston United, Listen, we need to get back to winning ways and fast. This has not been good. Gerald Mushishetele, you can start up top, son. Um, and we'll go back to your advanced forward position. Um, let's see. Connor Lawless, I think I'm going to start him in this game. See what he can provide for us. Sam Packham can come back in. Uh, so can uh, Joe Rollinson. He can come back in from the offing. Let's see. Cameron Tuck. He's fully fit now, so I can bring him back into the lineup. Pablo Martinez, potentially. But I'll keep it. As, we'll see. We'll see. Because it looks like guys are tired. So I might have to make that change regardless. If Jerk Pan lose this, we might be grade F category. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. If you look at the season they've had. He seems to be running his contract down Sam Packham. See, I, I want to keep him, but he he's considering his future. I hope, I hope that he considers to stay. Uh, that's my, I'm getting, so I don't want to put him on the transfer list just yet. Because I want to keep him, man. He's a very valuable player for us. But unfortunately, you're in the position that we're in. Hopefully we can push for promotion and see Jack Sauerbrees joining. Welcome to the club. Cameron Tut, please do the J-O-B. Alfie Egan doesn't see him himself. Listen, man, it's competition, son. It's competition. You'll be all right. You're not like that Harrison Mel, the guy, the guy that was crying because I brought in a backup goalkeeper. Don't be that guy. No, don't be him. <laughs> So we got Boston and we got Soddy Hill coming up. Both, if, if the others weren't must win, these are both must win games. Just to get our confidence back, get the results back in our way because we've lost two games on the bounce now in the league. Dorking and Dagenham and Redbridge, both of those losses were painful. One goal, could, I mean, we need to start scoring goals again. We need to start winning games again. How do we do that? That's up to me. And the couch and start to do so. Shout out to Sticky. Hope you're doing well. Today's been blessed. Appreciate you coming by every time. And where have I been? You know what? A bit inconsistent. I've been over on YouTube doing NBA chiller funds, but in regards to Twitch, been a little inconsistent. Outside life stuff kind of taking over in that regard. So every time I've wanted to go back onto Twitch and stuff like that, I've I've been doing the YouTube stuff committed to that on on the NBA chiller funds with my guy Roland and Pro Zone Sports, but. Yeah, every time, just because life has been a bit busy at this moment of time. But now, I'm starting to get a bit of balance again. So, this is where the streams are, are, are back. Since probably last week or so, I've been starting to stream on a consistent basis again. So, good to see you. Hope you're having a wonderful week. Hope you're having a wonderful day today. What have you been up to? But yeah, I did go MIA on <laughs> I did go MIA on, on Twitch. I'm ashamed. Alright, you and Pollock. They're suggesting that. I think I'm gonna go with Mr. Gerald Moshishatele and keep it that way. If we need the changes, we will make them. Um let's see. Did I leave? No, you and Pollock is still there. So if I need to bring them on, I can bring them on. Alfie Egan, 
I might put on Pablo Martinez because he needs a little bit of a boostage. Jack Sowerbury, I can bring him on now, actually. He can potentially make his debut today. Yeah, he can make his debut. So we'll allow him to make his debut. Ben Tricker, I think Ethan Patterson can come in. You can get a rest for this one. So I'm happy there. Ruben Soares Jr. is a little tired. So we might go for Craig Tanner again. Just to give Ruben a rest because we don't want a situation where he's getting jaded again. Just let him sit out these games and we'll continue. We have a good enough team to, to do what we need to do. Jack Sabri, I think I will give him, you can give him the number 26. You can give him the number 26. Team's warming up, please wait. So we're here. Panorama National League back at home jerk Pan FC at the jerk cut The op select Ian Culverhouse The manager number one Reese Davis Number 12 Keenan Ferguson Number 17 Tom Solanke Number 20 Kean Best Number 15 Joseph Johnson Number 22 Emmanuel O'Connell Number 3 Nara Short Number 13, their captain for today, Dean Parrott. Number 77, Scott Pollock. Number 9, Moses Emmanuel. And number 18, Mo Torrey. Now for Jerk Pan FC, manager, CM22 selects. Number 1, Harrison Mayo. Number 2, Sam Packham. Number 16, George Fowler. Number 14, Ethan Patterson. Number 15, the captain for today, Cameron Tut. Number 26, making his debut for Jump Pan FC, Jack Sowerbury. Number 6, Lewis Simper. Number 23, Connor Lawless. Number 12, Joel Rodinson. Number 27, Craig Tanner. And number 20, Gerard Mosheshetere. Referee for today, Jacob Miles. Um, that's all. It's good to see the lads were motivated before I even needed to speak. That means they're determined to take this bad run of form and end it. Crush it. Corner kick early for Jack Pan. Rodinson. It could have been an early goal. Jack Pan has struggled in these last two games to put the ball in the back of the net. Manager CM22 has spoken about his concerns but believes this team can flip the switch at home today and give the fans something to smile about. Here's Sarabu. Now Fowler plays it back to Harrison Mill. Lawless playing it back to the keeper again. Jack Pan just trying to get a bit of possession, feel comfortable at home. Packham has been booked with four minutes in already, but great run so far. Turn it back post, and it was saved by the goalkeeper. Awkward position. Now simple. Tackled by Emmanuel out of pounds. It's tucked. Captain in the side for today. And Lourdes into Fowler. Now Sarbury over to Rodinson. Always makes great runs off the ball. Packham low, hard. Moshe Shetene! Gerald Moshe Shetene via a deflection. Puts Japan FC 1-0 up against Boston United. Just what CM's men needed. We love to see. That's what we love to see. Here's Best now. Over the top ball. Great header by Fowler. It's Packham. Playing it into Rodinson. Runners beyond. Simpa. It falls to Tanner. Fired in the flexion off the post. Could have been two. But it's not to be for now. Boston have yet to have a shot in the game. Been out of domination from Jerk Pan FC. When will they have their first shot in the game? Here's Fowler. Throwing it long. Solanke heads it away now. Pollock to Ray. Cameron Tuck coming inside. Inverted to intercept. Great ball into Moshe Shetene. 
and it's almost 2-0. Wow, that was almost a superb, superb goal. Boston United have struggled to keep possession in this game, to create opportunities. And a long ball again, just straight back to Jerpan FC. Harrison Mel kicking it long this time to Gerald Moshechetene. He wins the knock-on. Here's Lawless. Takes the long shot. And wide of the goal again. The good thing for Jerpan is they, they have taken the opportunity, but they want more. Boston is still not taking a single shot in this game. Isn't that unbelievable? 42 minutes played and not a single shot. And this is against the Jerkpan side who have been struggling. Two losses on the bounce. And they're back at home reinvigorated. Here's Roninson now. Right wing. Back to Packham. Tries to find Roninson again, but just didn't get the ball correct. It's Packham. He's been having a lot of joy down this right wing. And wins the header towards Roninson. Ball in. Moshasha Tere. Straight into Davis's hands. And it is half time. Good performance by the lads. Oh my goodness. They're not even on here. Just utter domination in terms of XG. No shots. No shots. Incredible. Incredible. We just need to continue doing this and score another goal. I want more. I want two. I want three. I want. This should be two, three, four, five. All of that stuff there. I will remember to make the substitutions this time. We've had 17 shots, six on target, and only one goal. That's my concern. I'm going to make my substitutions, though. Gerald Mushishitele, he can come off for you and Pollock. And I'll put him in his poke shot position. Uh, Lewis Simper can also come off. Ben Wells, George Fowler, Pablo Martinez, you can do your job. Triple substitution, I am happy with that. And I praise the lads. At one point, I'm just going to shut up shop. Do I even need to shut up shop? Well, I'm not going to be cocky in this game, to be honest. Once it gets to 80 minutes, you know, choose my best, get back there, do my thing. Sabri, put him there as the defender. Pack him Lourdes. Not really his position, but we move in it. Just want to shore up shot. Just want to shore up shot. As they finally had their first shot on goal in the game. And now a second. To be honest, we've opened up the game for them to have a bit more possession and attack. But 1-0 is good enough, I guess, for Jerkpan FC. Towards the end, Boston United were trying to see if they could get out there and... Grab the equaliser, but Jerkpan are back to winning ways. And that is a big win for CM22's team, who are back in the playoff positions. CM management, this stream, 1-4, drew 0, lost 3. Great so far, a big C. <laughs> so we're back in the playoff spots. Barrow have a game in hand. So if they win that one, they get back in the seventh position. The good news is we have a game in hand on Dawkins. So we should be in eighth. And Barnett have a game in hand as well. So depending on how their game goes, we could be back out of that seventh position. But it's good to see that we're still competitive. And we're going up against Soddy Hill Moors next. They expected the win. We delivered it. Sabri makes his debut. See what the fans thought about it. Uh, has already made it known in recent that he's pleased to be a part of the setup. We're pleased to have you here, man. Rouse innovation by the supporters. And there was tangible excitement around the club as they got to see their new man in action. Moshe Shetere is set for goal bonus. He is one goal away from 15 league goals, which will trigger a contract clause that would result in him receiving a bonus of 1.6k. Go and get your goals, son. Cameron Tut suspended for a game. Yellow cards. I'm just letting you know, Jack Evans doesn't seem he should be starting more games. Uh, I'm not talking to this. I'm not talking to this guy, man. 
It's a competitive team. He has been playing. But I will start him next game just because of that query. So I don't need any issues. That is what I don't need. I don't need it. Let me check the game so far. So 2 0 on aggregate to Inter Milan off that first leg. 55 minutes, 56 minutes in now, and it's 0 0 between Inter and AC. Let me check what's going on in the Luton game. 56 minutes, still 2 0 to Luton Town. 3 2 on aggregate. Sunderland right now are not going to be in the playoff finals, championship playoff finals. So quick, quick turnaround for the game against Sonny Hill. But everything stays the same. It's a must win. Again, we need to win. I want to win. We have to win. It's as simple as that. I want to add those wins. It's impressive that we haven't drawn the game in this stream. It's either been a win or a loss. Sonny Hill coming up tomorrow. Um, Gerald Moshishatele finds himself in some good form. So Cameron Tut is suspended. Jack Evans, you've been complaining. There you go, son. Josh Ashby, you're back at it. Conan Orlis. I bring him in for Lee Harkin. Ruben Sores Jr., I can bring him back into the team now. Um, let's see. Go Scott Morris. I'll bring him in. Again, Sam Packham. Ben Wells, let me bring in Sam Packham there. Potentially, I could change it. I could change it. Dan Kemp is on his way to getting back into the team. Uh, Alfie Ian, you can come back now. And I think I will put Sabri over there because he had a he had a good game last time out. Uh, ben Tricker potentially. Yeah, Ben Tricker can come in as well. Uh, that is one thing about FM for these lower leagues where draws are frequent. It never seems to be the case for the team you control. It's quite crazy, Paxton. It's crazy, see? Yeah, interesting game, football managers. A very interesting game. You know, recently um, I was looking because um, I wanted to try and, and play a like a, a retro football manager. So I was looking at what people regard as like the best football managers and a lot of people were saying that like 2012, 2014 in terms of like certain stuff. So I was trying to get 2012, but it's just impossible to get them Steam keys. So I would have to buy it on eBay as like a fee. But yeah, it's impossible to get those, like the Steam keys, I guess, unless you buy the, the disc that's unopened. But I don't know how thingy that is. And if there is the Steam key, People are selling it for an expensive price. Expensivo. It's crazy. Now like people be selling it for 40 some. I saw people selling stuff for 80 quid. I was like, nah, we ain't doing this. Yeah, Dan Kemp, he wasn't going to pass that fitness test. He weren't going to do it. We're going up against Soddy Hill. I just want to make sure the team's there. Shout out to my light, Linsky. Hope you're doing well for today. It's been blessed. Appreciate you coming by each and every time. People be sure to go and show some love to my guy, Linsky. Yo, one of the goats of this generation, century, all of the above. Go and show him some love in the cup. Hope you're having a wonderful day. No problem, no problem, man. Big up yourself. I said I'm going to start doing something every month. Um... I'm probably going to do it with, hmm, let me see. Yeah, so I'd say probably at Big Up Man, probably people at the end of the month, I'm going to do like a little spin the wheel type of thing and then gift the sub to the person that wins so everybody can enter at the, at the start or maybe at the start of the stream or maybe in the middle, the incentive for some people to stay. And then, yeah, I gift the sub at the end of the month. Watch me be a drug king thing on GTA. Hey, come on, Malinsky. Was it, were, were you playing, a, a, was it GTA RP? Or, or just normal GTA? 
I, I can't I can't wait until the village is up and running again, fam. It's gonna be lit still. It's gonna be lit. Regular console GTA, say no more, say no more. Gotta tune in for that one for real. Realize what the M C M stands for. Money bags. Nah, 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 nah. There's a hey, I'm trying to be like the goat Linsky. That's all. That's all. Gerald's in good form right now. I might leave him there. Timmy Davis. He's done his thing since playing for Japan. I'm trying to be like the GOAT, fam. Hit up. Hit up. Why I? Come on, man. Hit up. Why I? Don't lie like that. Nah, I'm, I'm not lying. Linsky, yeah. Linsky. Oh, my days, fam. You, you, you're mad. Nah, 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 nah. Not me, fam. I'm trying to be like Lin He's lying in the cup. I'm no GOAT. Like, when I was here, yeah. I was looking at guys like Linsky, all of them people there, yeah. The, nah, nah, no fire for that, man. No fire for that. I was looking at these goats here, yeah, and I was like, I need to follow in their footsteps, man. I need to follow in their foot. So I kept on taking notes. I got all these notes, you know, all these written notes. You can see the black there. The, all of these written notes, you can see it. I was like, how I need to be goated, man. How I need to be goated. Paxton say you might as well look into other servers, me more CM. Uh, you never know what you can find and some RP servers never get off the ground. I hear you, I hear you, bro. I hear you, I hear you. But this one will be back, though. This one will be back. But it's a good suggestion as well to look at some as well. But we'll see. WWE Raw on uh, 15th. Records the lowest viewership number since January. Key demo rate and rises. Is that not looking good, Brent? This is my OG lo-fi lo -fi playlist, man. I can never go away from this playlist. If there's no music booming, this one never lets me down. And now, Panorama, National League. Edinsky, what you been up to this week so far? How's the week been? For one of the GOATs of all time. It's downtime in wrestling right now saying, Madge, the obsolete manager, Jim Bentley. Number one, Ryan Boot. He's going to get booted in five times. Number two, James Clark, the captain. Number 12, Reese McAnally. Number 25, Morgan Owen. Number 22, oh my goodness, Kasper Brzezinski. Number 35, Brandon Cover. Number 34, Ryan East. Number 11, Ryan Barnett. Number 15, Jack Lambert. Number 13, Walter Figueroa. Number 14, Josh Kelly. What do you mean pause, man? You know what, yeah. These man, yeah, you need to chill out on the pause, man. Because uh, I, will, I will reverse that. You know, reverse it in your face. Now, Jack Pan FC. Manager CM22 selects. Number one, Harrison Mel. Number 16, George Fowler. Number four, Ben Tricker. Number three, oh my dear. Number three, captain for today, Jack Evans. Number 19, Gus Scott Morris. Number six, Louis Simper. Number 18, Alfie Egan. Number 20, Gerard Mascheschetti. Number 12, Joe Rodinson. Number nine, Ruben Suarez Jr. And number eight, Josh Ashby. Number referee for today is Andrew Miller. Man be reaching more than hours back in the days. Big man thing, fam. Man just out here reaching for them pauses, fam. Go watch you, my guy, fam. Go watch you, big man. This brother's a pause machine, fam. Hopefully we can win this one once again. Jerkpan FC. CM22 said it was great to get back to winning ways. Our objective this season. Here's Kelly. I'm giving away the ball. Our objective is to finish as high as possible in the league. And if that means in the playoff spots and fighting for promotion, then it will be that. Our objectives, our aims always change as the season progresses. Trying forward for the goat, but missed. Hey, listen. 
<laughs> nah, listen. Oh, Ruben Sauce Jr. Um, ain't nobody, ain't nobody can send for a man like Linsky. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Uh, coming in from Lange. Is he's Kelly? Ooh. One of Ratcliffe's suggestions has been lowered to the amount of MSC he wanted to buy from an initial 69% for all the Glazer State. And just over 50%. Oh, he's you weren't even going to show me a replay on that. Wow, come on lads. Here's Fowler. Oh, what was that? Come on, come on. Cover, cover, we need cover. No, no! Offside. Offside, offside, offside. We're one nil down a half time again. Japan don't want protect. They don't want it. Why is it in every single important game they just don't want it? Hey Timmy, get in there, son. Um, George Fowler. I want Pablo Martinez because you're a little, you're a little dregsy. I'll leave it there. Let's go, lads. Come on. I need a response. Are we gonna get it though? I doubt it. I doubt it. Corner kick for Soddy Hill. Good catch by Harrison Mill. Got 30 minutes to go in the game. You're just gonna boot it away. But hold on, mistake by Owen. Ashby, oh, the cross. <laughs> oh, wait. Bam. The crossbar. So we come into the game. Come into the game, son. Burn it. I'm going very attacking. In fact, how does Ashby look there? Nah, he can't do. He, he can't do Jack. He can't do it, brother. He, he said, "I don't have the capacity. I don't have the capacity." Come on, lads. Come on, more. We need that equalizer. We're not going to get it, are we? Cover. With the crossbar. My goodness. We've lost again. Borough versus Luton final, I think, same man. CM management in this stream. One four. Lost four. Draw none. D minus is getting ridiculous. Oh boy. At least we're still in seventh. At least we're still in seventh. One four, lost four. And now Ruben Swords Jr. is jaded again. What is wrong with this guy, bro? Bro, Jack Evans played, he started last game. Nah, you, Gus, go and speak to him, fam. Go and speak to him, man. I don't want to talk to this guy. I don't want to talk to this guy. Leave me alone, fam. I'm going to talk to this guy, man. What kind of coursework settings is this? Fam? My, hey, Paxton's keeping a uh, keeping me in check. He's reminding me how many how the games have gone. So I've got a fifty percent win rate in this episode. Fifty percent losses. It's not good enough. It's not good enough, man. We're way too inconsistent. Way too inconsistent. 
Stressing me out. Stressing me out. Joe Gardner. He can play on the wing. Inside. A little bit on the midfield as well. Heading is not a good attribute. Selfish player. And in the dressing room he might struggle. But this guy's looking decent, you know. They're saying he's not for sale though. <laughs> it's not possible to purchase this player at the moment. Because he's on loan at Nottingham. On loan from Nottingham. Oh no, he ain't. We can't buy him, bro. I, I didn't even look at that. Yeah, he's on loan from Nottingham Forest. So we might have to we might have to look at him down the line as a potential loan option. Shout out to Vibes. Hope you're doing more. Today's been blessed. Appreciate you coming by. Show you every time. They running out for grill. We do it all for frill. Come on. Big up yourself. Hope you're having a great day, bro. Great week so far. What have you been up to? Just out here with Jack Pan FC. The good thing is. We're still in the promotion spots. We're going up against Oldham in six days' time. But the inconsistency is there. We've got 50% wins, 50% losses in this episode alone. We've brought in a few guys to bolster the numbers, give us some opportunities to rotate even more. So that's the positive for Jerkpan right now. We have more options. We, we, need, we have more legs. Because we need more legs and we have the legs. You and Pollock. Let me give him that poacher style. Oldham, where have I learned that? Where have I heard that before? Realist, though. Hey, Realist, man. We need you back. We need Realist back to manage Oldham. Oh, yes, when Realist is still a streamer. Hey, man, we need Realist back in the cut. I said, yo, read this, man. Where you been? We need him back still. We need him back. Do his simple Alfie Egan, Jack Sabri. Yeah, we need him back for real, man. But busy times, busy times. I'm sure Reedus will be back, man, soon. I'm sure he will be back soon. Gus Scott Morris is suspended. So we got to bring in an extra guy. I think I'm going to bring in Connor Law, this extra guy in the mid. <laughs> I'm happy with that for now We could make a different decision down the line But for now, I'm happy with it I'm happy For some reason, on my chair My, my back thing always slides up Because it helps me with my posture and stuff like that Woo! Let's see. Ball distribution. At least we're getting a bit of breaks in between street uh in between games now. So that's the positive. We're currently eighth because Barnett won their game. They're up on goal difference now. So we've just got to look out for that because we've got Dorkin on our neck. We've got Barrow. Even Oldham on our neck. If they beat us, we could be in problems. We could be well, they won't go above us because we've got a superior goal difference, but still. We could be in problems, so there's a lot of room for error right now. Sunderland A. Vibes is sad, man. It's sad. I couldn't believe. I, I couldn't believe that they fumbled. I mean, there's still time. There's still time potentially. But I'm 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 sad. <laughs> nah, I'm happy. Hey. <laughs> Yo, man, Sunderland. Oh the the, the Vanarama. Thing is closing, eh? Sam Packer, play of the week. Hey, I've been praying for their downfall. Transfer deadline is in one week. I don't think we're gonna do any more business. Let me look at my my current things. Let's see what's going on. Transfers. Yeah, we ain't really got nobody else. I'm not gonna take part. Oh, a ten meeting. What you got planned for us? So contracts expiring this season. Jack Evans, he's currently unhappy at the club. I think when I approached him about it. Let's see. Um, you should delay making a decision on Jack contract because he's not exactly in the best of form. 
All right, we'll do nothing for the time being and see how it goes. Um, Emmanuel Maha, what is he saying about him? You should delay making a decision. All right, we'll do nothing. Shout out to Osiro. Hope you're doing well. Today has been blessed. Appreciate you coming by each and every time. Seeing the bronze fifth ring is coming. Well, game one of the Western Conference Finals, the Lakers versus Denver, is starting tonight. Or should I say tomorrow morning, technically. Join us on CM22. I'm actually going to... Uh, let me drop the link to the channel. I'm co-streaming with my guy Roland at Pro Zone Esports. Into Milana freeing it up now in, on aggregate. It's tie over. They'll be heading to the Champions League final. So. To either face Real Madrid or Manchester City. So, let me drop a link to the channel real quick, ladies and gents. For you guys, just in case you want to drop by later on. Just in case you want to drop by later on. That is where we'll be co-streaming one of the two channels, at least the other is Pros Only Sports, which you will see later on. Going live at 1 a.m. Leia also will still be smiling, saying Paxton. Like, okay, imagine he wins the UCL. Hey, it could happen. Romelu Lukaku could score the winning goal. Catch you later, man. Big up yourself. When the Vodge channel up and running. Hey, Paxton, the Vodge channel, thank you for reminding me. The Vodge channel is up and running. I've um transferred over the relevant VODs over there. I just need to edit them now, if you know what I mean. So I'm going to use the YouTube editor to just um cut through certain things. And then I'm going to start putting them up slowly. But when the Vodge channel is up and running, you'll be able to watch all the previous episodes of the Jerkpan FC series. If you want to catch up or reminisce. From when I disappear, and the new ones will be up now as well. We've got a, a couple other streams too. So it should be up real soon. How do you think uh Poch lines up Chelsea and, and the, how, who does he? I don't, I don't even know, bro. Honestly, I don't even know, but it's an interesting situation in the end of the day, right? It's an interesting situation, I think, because, hey... Um, yeah, I think Poch for that situation, they need to rebuild properly. So like spending all this big money on these reputation players, it needs to stop them because they're clearly in a horrific situation right now. They need to rebuild from the ground up and, and work their way into some kind of consistency. I think Poch is a good manager if you give him the opportunity, but I don't know how it will work out at Chelsea because they're, they're in a really weird position right now. <laughs> we are the jerkers, fam. Jerkers for life. Hey. Fam. The, the, the narrative of trying to push that nickname for the fans. I, I'll let it fly, fam. I'll let it fly. Actually, five. Fam. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> I had to, to, to chill, fam. I said five. The jerk out, fam. Yo, fam. I, nah, 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 nah. nah. Two, Yo, yo, yo! Japan FC, Japan FC, Japan FC. Running, running down, down on the grill, grill. we do it all for, for thrill. Run by FC. I almost watched the song then. So we're out of the player spots for a little bit. Let me make sure I get my. I think I made all the changes I needed. I needed to make Fowler. Yeah, 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 yeah. Starting man like Pollock. Ruben Soares Jr. You see, this is the thing I could have got. I could have got another. I could have got another winger. You know. CM for the voice. <laughs> Bam. I ain't him. Bam. I ain't ready. Bro. I ain't ready. I'm not that guy. You need to be on the goal in status. See, Dan Kemp got injured. That's the thing that annoyed me. I brought in an extra wing and he got in injured. Struggle to see out the match. All right, you know what? I'm going to bring Pollock off the bench then. I'm going to bring Pollock off the bench.
Another match, another day, another dollar. They ain't ready for that golden <laughs> Hey, stop it, man. Stop it. Uh, stop it. I ain't that guy. Stop it. But here, at the jerk cut, we are here today for Jerk Pan SC. Hopefully, we get back to winning ways. The Ops Oldham Athletic Select Manager, Simon Weaver. Number 19, Magnus Norman. Number 23, Marcus Lawrence. Number 4, the captain, Liam Hogan. Number 5, Adam Hutchinson. Number 3, Benny Kuto. Number 13, Mackenzie Lamb. Number 15, Noah Mawene. Number 16, George Walker. Number 17, John Rooney. Number 29, Junior Luamba. Number 9, Leo Gassa. And now, Japan FC, CM22 Select. Number one, Harrison Mill. Number two, Sam Packham. Number 16, George Fowler. Number 14, Ethan Patterson. Number three, and the captain for today, Jack Evans. Number 18, Alfie Egan. Number six, Lewis Simper. Number eight, Josh Ashby, number 12, Joel Robinson, number 9, Ruben Swartz Jr. And up front, number 21, Henry Timmy Davis. Referee for today is Lloyd Wood. Hey, let's do our thing, lads. Let's go out there and have some fun. See, I'm going to tell an emotional story and get golden buzzer. Um, hundred percent. Hey, listen, 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 man. Stop gassing me up. Stop gassing me up. Hey, already near the three hour mark. It's crazy, isn't it, Paxton? Already near the three hour mark already, man. I got another game in me, though. Already near the three hour mark. Time flies when you're having fun. Hope you guys have enjoyed the stream today, man. What a ball! Off the post! He's outside. Sheesh. Here's Egan. It's a foul. Ashby. Hashtag inspirational. I'm just trying to follow the footsteps of the goals. Timmy Davis! Come on! And a cartwheel for the fans. See after 11 minutes, one nil up. Come on! Here's Lamb. Great challenge by Simple. Now Patterson can advance the ball forward. Timmy Davis was making a run. He wasn't found. Here's Rodinson. Ball across. It's two. It's two. Joel Rodinson in quick succession. And Jerk Pan FC, 2 0 up. Oba got a Barca winner's medal after only playing eight minutes. That is wild, you know. Barcelona securing La Liga. Man got the. And I, I, I heard something, I, I didn't see them directly, but apparently Aubameyang had some comments on the Instagram live where he was saying he would like to go back to Barcelona, or have them purchase him or whatever. What a save, Harrison! What a save! Here's Rooney. Ball in from the corner kick. And then away, another corner. The old athletic. Did Dubravka ever get his energy drink medal? I do not know. I do not know, Paxson. Did Dubravka play for us in the, in the Carabao Cup? Sorry if I like if I don't remember, but I swear it feels like David De Gea. He's literally played every game this season. It feels like that anyway. Because all of the backup keepers we've had this year, we haven't utilized them. Or hardly have at least. It feels like it though. Man like Dubravka. Remember to make those subs. Around this 59th. Let's do it now. Let's do it now. On the Lord, you can come on, son. 
You wanna play a bit of that wing? You wanna play a bit of that wing? Go on, lad. Uh, Lewis. Yeah, Jack Sabri. Bring off a few of the guys that are on yellows. They're inviting Amma to come watch the FA Cup final. Yeah, they better. <laughs> oh my goodness. To Adam Hutchinson. And just like that, Oldham are back in the game. Focus, lads. Focus. Off the corner kick, it was a bit jammy. We gave them the header. And once it came off the crossbar, it was 2-1. This game is not secured just yet. I might have to shut up shop. When it gets to 80th minute, you know what that means. You, kn you know what that means. Sour Bree come inside. It's time to defend. Defend the honour of the team. Come on, lads. You gotta hold out. Encourage. Encourage that we can hold out. It's Kuto. It's a Walker. Rooney. The Brav can play two. Offside. Offside, ref. Yes! Come on! <laughs> well, you played Burnley and Villa. Thank you, Paxson, for reminding me. Thank you. Okay. So yeah, I guess I guess he's he's holding that trophy. You know what I mean? There in the cup. He's holding that medal away from his uh, teammates. Wow, Rooney had a golden opportunity at the end to equalize for Oldham, but he fumbled the bag, fumbled the header. Harrison Mills wasting all the time he can. Referee don't care. Ashby, good clearance. Here's Lamb. And that'll be that. We're offside. Offside anyway. Blow the ref. Whistle ref. Blow the whistle. Japan FC with the W again. Timmy Davis scoring one of the goals. And Fowler as well. We needed it. Or was it Simpa? I don't remember who scored, Reb. I just remember that we scored. It was Rodinson. You mug. They got the assist. Rodinson with a big goal. See a management this stream. 1 5, drew 0, lost 4. So far, C minus. Good win, lads. Jack are leaving for buy Bayern Leverkusen. For 15 mil, same Paxton. 20 biceps, 20 biceps. Okay, so we're level on points now with Barnett. And they're ahead on goal difference. So we need to continue winning. We need to continue scoring some goals. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. There we go. Good win, lads. Good win. But we're on the tail. Halifax is going to be a tough game. That is going to be a tough game. I'm saving up for the 80 bicep cuz halfway there. Say no more, Linsky. Say no more. You know who, who abused those 80 bicep curls? Read this. And as well as that, the, the weighted vest. Oh, the weighted vest. The weighted vest is down there somewhere. Yeah, because that one's 10k. <laughs> so I have the weight is best on deck. Gonna be him, Shiley, man. Another goal of this century. You know what I mean? He's easy. He's in the categories with Linsky. You know what I mean? All the goats up there. But that's what I'm trying, man. Because um, the aim for me this year. One of my like goals this year was to start playing football at a certain level again. So I wanted to try and like find a like a club that that will kind of train me to kind of so I can reteach myself the fundamentals again. And then I'd wanted to, like want to advance into something a little more serious and competitive, because I don't think I'm at that level yet, physically or mentally.
So we shall see. We we shall see. Twenty three year old DM. He's a free agent, you know, twenty three years old. Quans though. Marking is not a strong point and very one footed. In the midfield, that can be a little problematic. Leadership, eh, vision, positioning, kind of mid. Let me see. Fully scout the guy, man. Fully scout the guy and see what I go on. Fully scout him. Oh, we're going to go up to the Halifax Town game. It's tough. But hopefully, we can get that W. Let's see, fortnightly staff meeting. Players to rest. We're going to have to rest Ruben again. Jack Evans, Ben Wells. Um, his wages really steady. His performance haven't been stellar. Okay. Gus Scott Morris, as his salary doesn't match his ability and we should consider his future at the club as those savings could help. Um, That makes sense. That makes sense. But this is the thing, enjoys big matches. Consistent performer. Very one footed. Mm. So it just depends if you can so lead and play for most Vanarama size. That's not great for us. Ruben, whenever he's needed, nah, I need a rest big. I'm telling you, Paxton, every time this brother's needed, he gets tired, jaded. Exhausted. What is wrong with this? I need him. It's, it's the running. It's the running. I need this guy. You know what? Ben Wells. I can see him putting, being put on a transfer list, to be fair. Jack Evans, I mean, he's an important player for us, but he wants he wants to leave at the end of the season. That's the biggest problem. So maybe we should replace him. Think about just putting him on a transfer list and replacing him in the end of the day. We'll see. We'll see. I feel like, what do you think we should do, guys? Because I do think that we should at least try. The transfer window is closing soon, so I doubt we're going to get sales for these guys. Which means that most likely, because Jack, his contract running out this end of the season. Ben Wells, end of the season. And Gus Scott Morris, end of the season. So, if we don't, I guess if we don't sell them now, we're going to have to renew their contracts and either look to sell them after. That's if they want to re-signed with the club this guy i'm not sure if he'll want to because i feel like i went in already and he was like no but i might try again a little closer to the end of the season i think for now i'll leave it or is that bad because it's like you don't want to develop a culture of letting guys go on the free and not getting funds back because that, that's important for a club of our stature. Uh, see what you can do to replace him first. Say no more. Say no more. That is the most important thing. The good thing for us is we've had quite a few signings in the midfield. I feel like anyway, after this season, we're going to have to improve in multiple positions. But I would rather kind of look at look at that a little closer to the end of the season if if you dig what I mean. But I might have to look at that sooner rather than later. If that's the case. Jack Kinchy. What are you telling us? Uh balance, normal personality, strength and stamina, can play in a couple positions. 
tendency to not get stuck into rough challenges, must do a better job when it comes to marking and dressing room social group stuff. So it's a little dodgy on the marking game six. Positioning air. But he's got a good, good, good rating, bro. But the only thing is this brother's wage is high. And he's already already at a club anyway. What, what what wage is he on right now for Dawkins? Zero per week. So man must be on a what non non guaranteed or something. I don't even know. Luton are through saying match, so they've ended up winning the game. Yeah, let me let me see some man. I just want to explore this real quick. Dawkins are a semi-pro team, I think I was hearing. Okay, okay. So there's a similar situation like us. He has no, yeah, he has no interest. No interest at all. Damn. Alrighty, Jackie. Alrighty, Jackie. In a championship. So now it's all over. It's over to Middlesbrough and Coventry. Nil no on aggregate tomorrow, 8 o'clock. Who will join Newton Town in the playoff final? If I said in a bit, such a new figures. Their fans did the Poznan when Aguero won the league. Team Petty. Oh, yeah. Hey. Or well, take me back to that day. They take me back to that time, you know. Man saying it's Carrick, you know. Hey, Dan Kemp should be back. Can you expect any business from Jerk Pan FC? Before the transfer window closes, respond. Potentially. Hey, potentially. You never know. If you know, then you know, then you know who. We're going to play one more game. For the stream, ladies and gentlemen. Should Ben Tricker believes he should be starting more games. Lad. Please. You talk to this joke, man. Having made 18 deals during this window, is there another position you might go back in the market for? Now you seemingly address the main areas of concern. Um... I'm not too sure, you know. No comment, really. I'm not. I'm not too sure. Not too sure, lad. Paxton, are you from commentary ends though? I'm just being realistic in it, saying man. Hey, they're in the position, bro. They're in the position. I know man is this ultra realistic guy, but things can happen. Things can happen in the end of the day. That's the beauty of football. When you're in position to do something special, anything is possible. Unless you're facing Manchester City, I guess, in the Premier League. Because it weren't possible for us now. We've already got two transfer settings. So it closes at 5 p.m. tonight. Offers made for one of our youngsters. And their transfer offers on a freebie. 16 years of age, I mean. Preferably... We'd like to hold on to him. Because he's only 16, so. We ain't accepting none of that stuff. If City win versus Bar, I will be there at Wembley saying, man, I will, I will be there. This is commentary's time. Otherwise, I don't see them escaping the championship. The Bar team is building up saying Paxton. Alright, let's get... Uh, are we going to go through the transfers? Do all of that stuff there? Alright, it's past. It's business time. I was watching uh, Stephen A. Sh Sh oh, a Shannon Sharp and Skip video on Jarma, right? They were ahead of this. Yeah. And and this is the thing, Vibes, on the whole situation. Like, this is the second time he's done this. 
So it's like, if you don't learn now, you're never going to learn, are you? Also reference an article which had different cases of what Jar did. He's It's true. I remember because I watched the same thing vibes. Like They were speaking about every little case Jar Morant has been involved in. And it's just like, why? What's the need? It's poor, man. His mum as well. Yeah, that's the crazy thing. So there was the um story around his mum calling him to the store to resolve some kind of issue or beef that he had. like yes i watched the tiktok explaining it all yeah <laughs> shout out to paxton i mean the whole family in general like the mom the dad like something needs to change in regards to the way they need to get inside his head and do something i don't know what they're gonna do but they need to do something because He's not on the straight and narrow right now. And if he's not careful, he could mess up his career and everything he's worked up to do, worked up to achieve up to this point, you know? And you don't want to see that in the end of the day. You don't want to see that with a young, exciting player, talented young player. But he's on his way to mess up his entire career overall. Ultimately, they will pay the price if he doesn't fix up facts. Saw a video from some NBA player cooking him. Oh, man. <laughs> Which NBA player was it, Vibes? If you remember. It doesn't matter if you don't. But, yeah. Some people, they're showing sympathy. Some people are show like, cooking. I'm, I'm, I'm not showing him any sympathy because now he's a repeat offender. You know? And, and I, I do think that the NBA... Oh, it's Kwame Brown. Okay, Kwame Brown. Yeah, I do think that the NBA let him off lightly. Yeah, he's a former NBA player vibes. A lot of people, well, I'm, I'm, I'm not... It's offensive to him, I guess. But he's made a career off of it now. But a lot of people saying he was the biggest bust in NBA history. Well, not the biggest, but one of the biggest busts in NBA history. If you look at... If you do research on Kwame Brown as a player, there'll be a lot of videos up on him. Stephen A., even even used to grill him back in the days on first take man. Man said he called him NBA dumb boy. That's a wild fan. NBA NBA dumb boy, you know. It's not looking good, Brevi. Pattern up jar. Pat if you see this clip then. Pattern up jar. I don't know how, but just pattern up. Pattern up. Ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be a difficult game fifth in the league. Halif Damn! Halifax Town manager Phil Brown selects number 13, the captain for today, George Ratcliffe. Number two, Tyler Gordon. Number 22, Festus Arthur. Number five, Jesse Dubra. Debra. Number 12, Georgie Gent. Or Gent, depends. How do you want us to say it? Number seven, Nick Freeman. Number eight, Kian Spence. Number 14, Chris Merry. Number six, Seb Drozd. Number 11, Ken Abo. And number 32, Ryan Cassidy. Wait, Jim Radcliffe is playing. Nah, 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 nah. George Radcliffe, big man. <laughs> Don't do that. And for Jerk Panacee. CM22 selects number one, Harrison Mayo. Number four, Ben Tricker. Number 14, Ethan Patterson. Number 15, the captain for today, Cameron Tut. Number two, Sam Packham. Number six, Lewis Simpa. Number 18, Alfie Egan. Number 20, Gerard Moshashadani. Number 12, Joe Robinson. Number nine, Ruben Suarez Jr. And number 23, Connor Lawless. Referee for today, Robert Al Al Ablett. Damn, I did not hear that jump scare. Did they play? I, I, need, I need to let go of, of Trigger Fire now, man. I need to let go of Trigger Fire. Jim Ratcliffe is United's backup strike if he takes it. I risky don't even boy it like that, man. We're still hoping. Whoop and free it. Whoop and free it. We need it. Get my points back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll do it after stream because I'm not on the I'm on not on the screen right now. 
if, if it doesn't go through, I'll give people back their points, man. Relax and ease up the team, man. It's all good. I ain't a scammer. Man, I said double points, you know. Who do you think I am, man? You think I'm a casino up in here? <laughs> Debra. Come on, Robinson. That says CM Bowley, fam. CM Scammers in COVID. Nah, 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 nah. Pack him. Good ball! Off the crossbar! Musha Shetele! CM Scammers in coming, fam. Conman 22. Nah, 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 nah. Oh, Gerald! Musha Shetele! 1-0! Again! Damn, why is my mouse lagging? Here's Lourdes gives it away to Arthur. Oh, no, 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 Cassidy's in. Big chance! CM Punk, CM Punk. You go the first in there. Hey, that song's a banger, you know. I listen to that every single week. Ken Abo with the equalizer for Halifax just on the cusp of half time. So unlucky for Jerkpan. We go again. We go again, lads. Listen, keep it up. Keep it up with the performance. I'm delighted with your performance. Keep it up. Let's fight. Let's continue to fight. Let's go on to win this game. We can do this. We're going to do this. Look in my eyes, what do you see? Oh, a cold of personality. Oh, no, no, Captain Storage, Captain Storage, he misses. And he rode him in King Charles soon to lose. Aye, now vibes is funny, man. Vibes is funny. Here's my sister telling. Oh, almost nodded it on. Hey, I, I say no more. I got, I got to play this one, fam, because this, this is a banger. This is a banger. Banger. There's Camden stop. I'm telling you, the whole family is so expensive. Ain't it might be, you know, it might be. A cult of personality. You gotta make them subs. You know what? Me, oh. We're making that triple substitution. Come on, we can do this. No, not Apple. No, he missed. They've been dominating this second half. Come on, win it back, lads. A bit of energy. What a save, Mel is offside. Come on. Is is tut. Do I watch much uh, AEW? Mostly clips, man. I don't think I've ever watched AEW live to be honest. No, captain's not like this. He fumbled. Man, they've dominated this game, bro. It's Ratcliffe, not Ratcliffe, breath. Not Ratcliffe. It's Spence. Over the top again to Abo. Abo, Captain Sturridge, offside. He had to take one. I'm, I'm going attacking, bro. I'm going attacking. Looking forward to Jericho versus Court. Double or nothing. Same match. 
Um, I've been seeing that wild business going around, fam. Is, is, is it? Yeah. Game over. Game over. Game over. I was expecting that, man. See a management this stream. 1 5, drew none, lost 5. Gray so far, D minus. Those losses way heavy. Hey, Paxton's got a point, man. See him out trending on FM Twitter. Fam. To be honest, this is against one of the biggest, best teams in the league. I, I don't think we should be mad at a loss like this. There are other losses in this, in this stream that you could be mad at, you know? Ref! Come on, get one back. Hurry up, Lawless. Get the ball, get the ball. Get the ball. As it should say, lit. Nah, nah, it's cute. Ah, right, we lost. Margo Fish tweeted it. You don't gotta respect me, man. Ah, uh, unlucky, lads. Unlucky. Uh, we we got peppered. We got pammed, you know. Now I see him. I just see the madness on the time. Oh, what's happening? What's happening? So now, to end the stream, final game. The banners are out saying Linsky. Um, we're quite a few. Well, not quite a few. We're only a few points off seventh place. Barnet, 58, 61 they've got. We're a point behind Barrow in eighth place. So... It's more than possible to still get a playoff spot. But somehow we need consistency. Because as you can see, the teams around us, like Bromley have a bit of space. But the teams around us, 15 points out of 30, not good. Yeah, um... Yeah, man, it, it's, I can't defend that still. I can't defend that. But yeah, we need to find some consistency because the teams around us, they're close by Dorking, Oldham, Dagenham even. So we need to be better. Soddy Hill, Newport, this season could, could tank real quickly if we don't find a bit of consistency and fast. And we need, I want to finish in those playoff spots because it would be great. It would be great for us. I don't want our season to end early. I just don't. So, the the highlight of this stream, uh, the biggest highlight for us, and I, I can go over to the schedule. Let me go over to the schedule. I think it's, yeah, it was, uh, let me see. It was the victory against Boston United. That was a great, no, it wasn't Boston United, was it? Which game was it? It might have been, no, nah, it was in February. So I believe it was Gateshead. What a victory it was. They're in first now. <laughs> They're first in the Vanarama National League now. So that says everything about that game. And we ended up winning 1-0 against them. That was the shock win. But then look after that. So we were in a good run, especially in February. We only lost one game. We won four. Now, this month in March to end March... We've won one, one, two, and we've lost four games. That is poor. That is poor. That needs to be better in April. We haven't got a lot left in the season. April games, and then one in May. But we need to clean up our act and fast for the next stream, ladies and gentlemen. CM, I heard Mauricio Potticino is in line to take over at Jetpack. Bro, nobody is taking over at Jetpack FC. When I showed you guys the support the board have for me, I am an A plus in the job that I'm doing. An A plus. Let that sink in, guys. 
Oh my god. Shout out to Japan FC. Japan FC. Japan FC. Running, Running down, down the grill, grill. we do it all for thrill. thrill. Japan FC. Shout out to Zesty. Hope you're doing well. Your day's been blessed. Appreciate you coming by each and every time. And I do want to say thank you to everybody that has been here over the course of the stream. I'm going to look for a raid e real quick. Bonus is paid out to Sam Packham, Cameron Tart, and you and Pollock. They've done their thing. Uh, avoiding relegation. So that is one positive. We have established ourselves in the National League, ladies and gentlemen. So let's have an applause on that one. Let's have an applause on that one, right? Let's have an applause because I think a lot of people could have predicted for us at least relegation back down. But we've done our thing and we've done it well. We've played well. Thank you, see Big Up for the stream. When is the next one? The next one on Twitch, I will let you know in Discord because right now I don't have a, a, a certain stream plugged in just because we've got all of the NBA chiller funds and stuff like that. But if there is a change to the schedule, I will do uh, a notify everybody on the announcement in the community Discord. So if you're not in there already, be sure to join there. The 22 server, it's always a good time. Linsky saying, listen, if we don't get a 10 game, no loss streak, the banners are getting displayed in the ultras end. Oh my goodness. So 10 games with no losses, wins and draws. We'll try. We've had no draws today. So getting 10 wins in a row might be tough if we don't get the draws as well. So hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. We got to go to you on a great stream. Thank you. Thank you, bro. Thank you. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. Only caught the last RG to work. It's all good, Linsky, man. Thank you for being here. None of Thank you for being here. Whether you're here for one minute, 10 minutes, an hour, it doesn't matter to me. It's seeing your face, even if you are lurking, shout out to the lurkers as well because it, it's, it's helping, man. And, and shout out to Zersi, three minutes, you know? Shout out to Zersi for being here once again. Hope you had a wonderful day and a wonderful week. <laughs>